Ja, vi nöjer att ta fart i rörelse. Det är simple. Då är det här. Det är en av de här. Ladies and gentlemen, you join us here in Simple Stadium Tarlis for the toss of the coin. And this first of the County Senior Hurling semi-finals between Aero Nina in the light blue and Tarlis Archwells in the dark blue. The referee Tommy Londrigan from Kilsheeling Kil tossing the coin. Their oaks seem to indicate that they have won the toss and are playing from left to right. And they give me an opportunity to give you the Air Oak team. In goals, Christy Midlockland, the full back line. Right cornerback, Donny O'Brien wearing number four. Full back, Conrad Donovan, and left cornerback, Noel Coffey. The half back line wearing number seven. Playing as right half back, John Heffern, and centre half back, Frank Moran, and left half back, Paul Kennedy. In Lorna Parker, Philip Kennedy, and Michael Cleary. The half forward line, right half forward, John Kennedy, centre half forward, Paul Dolan and left half forward, Ronan Burns. And the full forward line playing at top of the right, Robbie Tomlinson, full forward, Neely Corbett, and top of the left, Eddie Tucker of a Spurn or Dorless Ale in the Sarsh League. Sarchville's team, who are at the left hand side of the ground, the Kalinan end of the ground here. Paddy McCormick and goals, the full back line, Michael Maher, Tommy Maher and Michael Sparrow. The half back line, Jim Maloney, Seamus O'Shea and Seamus Maher, Ilona Parker, John Durney and Brendan Carroll. The half forward line, right half forward, Graham O'Connor, centre half forward, Connie Maher and left half forward, Mollis McCormick. And the full forward line, uh, Paddy Maher, Sorry, Paddy Maher at half forward line, Connie Maher centre half forward, and Morris McCormer on the other corner. And the full forward line, Graham O'Connor corner forward, Liam Duggan at full forward, and Seamus Quinn at top of the left. The watch is being checked. We have approaching, just approaching two o'clock here at Central Stadium. The whistle is throw in, and the first semi final is underway. First to break away is Sarkis, but it's picked up by John Heffern and up to the field. Picked up to the centre. Back to the wing back, Seamus Maher, Shim up the field, up the centre pick up and Michael Cleary. Michael Cleary looks to be chopped down, was chopped down and a free to Aero Nina. Free to Michael Cleary. We haul out Larry Glickson Pucks there. He's between the 50 and the 70 meter line. New stand side of the pitch. We have played a minute and a half as Michael sends this one in around the house. In towards cover, grabbing seven to go to Patrick Palmer. Out to the centre of the field. Out comes uh, Moran. He didn't get to it. Philip Kennedy tried to pick it up. Picked up by the number 13. That's Paddy Maher. In feed for Torres. In. Out comes Tony O'Brien. Picks the ball ahead of him. Gets ahead of the full forward. On the corner forward, Quinn. Flicks it ahead of him, O'Brien. Out to the far side. Picked up by the number 12. That's Morris McCormack. Morris fouled in possession and a free in to uh, Torres Archville. Puck sale the door of The free on the 50 meter line to be taken by Connie Maher, centre half forward on the Torres team, sending it in. It's gone to the right and it's gone wide. Agastana Forner, four score. The score again at the in his goal against Arsenal. Agastana, Bjognock, three no with him. Chris Thorne with Lachlan, Nishan Puckamaka Hogan. Out towards the centre, will Philip Kennedy get that one? Then he's broken instead by John Burley. Up to the centre to Connie Maher, sends it in field. In between the full back and the full forward. Out comes back. No copy the corner back, out field. Out to the centre. John Burley batting for it, beating him out there. Nice across the ball, Torres man. It looks like O'Connor is short. It's gone to the right and it's in inside. Grabbed inside by the full forward. That's Graham O'Connor, but he was falling his man and it's a free out to Erog Nina. That one coming in from Brendan Carroll from Graham O'Connor. Graham had fouled his the full back. It's a free out taken by Conor Durbin. Out to the centre of the field. Fifth round back, Seamus O'Shea getting a stick to it. Up the field. That's Morris McCormick picking it up. Being chased out of the way there by John Heffern and sends in from Morris McCormick. The shot is high. The first score coming from the stick of Morris McCormick. Colleen Lett, Dorlis Ailia. 
agus tá bíomna Cairnóma Dimeha. Christy McLaughlin, on to the far side of the field. Seamus O'Shea with the free. Close to the old stand here. On the old stand side of the pitch. Seamus bending, lifting, striking it now. Sending it in, in towards the centre. Out comes the quarterback. back. Here goes to Paul Kennedy. Tries to lift, kicks it ahead of him. Still gets it clear, out of it. Out to the number five, that's Paul. John Heffernan batting for it as well in there. John Hepp Paul with Paul Kennedy. Paul is called in possession and a free out. The free to be taken by Conor O'Donovan. Conor with the free. Along this side of the field. Situation of Ronan Burns. Only gets a stick to it. Out this side of the field. Cleared up by Jim Malone and the wing back. Comes into the hands of centre back O'Shea. Keeps it on the ground. Into Terry in the centre. Across field. Fight the efforts of Dorney. In towards uh, Tomlinson. Didn't get it. It's cleared up by the cornerback Michael Sparrow. Out to the far side of the field. He picked that on the far side by Morris McCormick. Morris on the solo run being chased by uh, Paul Kennedy. Morris still trying to go. Still Morris. Still Morris on the run. Looking up. Sending it in. And sending it over the bar. Morris McCormick. Getting away from his marker and putting that one over the bar. Scoreline reads Torres Archfield's two points. Air O. It's going to be close. I just thought. Who with him? Huh? We have played five minutes here at Simple Stadium. Two points from Sarsfield. As Christy McLaughlin pucks that one out. Paul Dolan trying to get a stick to it. Didn't succeed in doing so. Sent out feed by O'Shea. Kept up that feed by the midfielder Brendan Carr. Only comes out to uh, John Hepburn and John in feed. In towards pick up at the corner by Michael Sparrow. He's hooked halfway to his out. Brendan Carr in the centre. Brendan takes his eye off the ball. Comes to John Kennedy. John of Air Oaks. Sending it in feed. In towards the football. And David Harbour. And Tommy Nahar. Rocket inside. Picked up by Patrick Holmes, the goalkeeper. Out to this side of the feed. Up by Michael Laher, all on the ground, coming out to the centre. John Kennedy didn't get to it. Broken and centered by Brendan Carroll. Picked up by uh, Michael Clary. Michal Clary, this is Slytherin and Ish. Puck to the corner, to the number 13, that's Robbie. Robbie Thomas has tried to get to it. Didn't succeed in doing so. Going very close, got off on the side and off the stick of Michael Sparrow. It's Puck Tavelina, the Aile Caroon. Me Hall of Eric and Puck Tablina Hogan. He's between the 21. Uh, he's between the 14 and the inline. Nearer to the 14 on the far side of the field. Or Donny Reen. Sits it across the field. Drops in there by O'Shea. Kicks it ahead of him. They play football in Torres as well. Out to the centre of the field. Out comes the number 13. That's uh, his name O'Connor up field. Up towards the far side line. Still in play on the far side. Donny O'Brien comes out and gets it. A long delivery by Donny. Pulled by the number seven, that's Seamus Maher, gone right close to the sideline, and the sideline cut to uh, Air Oak, sideline cut I think. Yes, Michael Seary preparing to take the sideline cut. Fifty-two metres out, sends it across the field, into the corner, handing up to it. Oh, it's a shot at all! Robbie Tomlinson. Cole on the after pod. Here oh, Cole on. The Sarsley, oh, Cole in. That was Pucka Bartlett, Poswick McCormack. Paddy McCormack put out to the centre of the field. Out to the half back line, getting it. Broken down to us, Graham O'Connor. Into a Lord Coffee coming out of it, getting a vote to it. Pulled inside by Maher. Funny a shot, saved by Christie. Number 14, that's uh, Liam Duggan, the scorer. Cool, Lucas Ian, Doc Cooleen, the Sarsley, Cool of Owen, the Aina Caroon. Uh, that ball sent in there, and Liam Duggan providing the, the ball to the back of the net. Ball broken down in the middle of the field. Sent up by John Heffernan, along the ground. Picked up in the centre by Brendan Carroll. 
Brendan upfield. Of course, he's far forward. Out comes Tony O'Brien. Tries to get ahead of Quinn. Beaten to there by Quinn. Foul. And it's a free in to Sarsfield. A foul on Seamus Quinn. Centre half forward, Connie Maher. He's between the 35 metres out. Sends it in. And this one gone to the right and gone wide. Ain Cooler, the Scott Cooley in the Sarsix. Ain Cooler in the Caroon. Eight and a half minutes gone as Christy McLaughlin with the puck out. Towards this side of the field, Kennedy trying to get under it, beaten to it by Carroll in the centre. Uh, Jim Maher getting it in towards Connie Maher. Connie with the ball in the hand, seemed to hold on to a long time, given advantage by the referee. Out to this side of the field, pulled along by Jim Maloney. In towards the 13, that's Paddy Maher. Paddy Maher is shot, it's going in between the corner, back in the corner forward. Brain inside by Quinn. Or Quinn getting it. At a second attempt, Tony O'Brien sticking with him, send in and send over the bar, Seamus Quinn the scorer. The replacement on the on the Torla Sarsfield team at the at the start in place of Eamon Walsh, Seamus Quinn slotting that one between the posts. Almost ten minutes gone. As Christie's puck out to this side of the field. Brendan Carroll getting the better of that duel. Out to Frank Morden on this side, and on the ground from Frank. Noel Coffey tried to pick it up, didn't succeed in doing so. Philip, Philip Kennedy batting for it. Roland Burns out to comes to Philip Kennedy. Philip breaking the ball inside. Into the full back and the full forward. Leaves it on side to Carbot. Picked up inside by the full back. That's Tommy Maher out to the centre of the field. Out to Brendan Carroll. Loose man sending it up field. Up to this corner of the field. Coming out to get it will be uh, the number. That looks like Quinn again. Yes, Seamus Quinn. Picking it up. Try to get her away, he's marked, straight away from his marker, a shot in by Quinn, it's half blocked down, broken inside between the full back and the full forward. A foul there on the full forward, Liam Duggan by uh, Connor O'Donovan, and Connor has gone down injured at the moment. Connor on the deck at the moment. The free is from 20 metres. Connor O'Donovan. Conor Donovan receiving a facial injury, been treated there by members of the Torres Unit of the Order of Malta. Yes, Conor back in the action. The free to be taken by Connie Maher. Spending, lifting and sending it over the bar. The scoreline now reads Sarchfields, 1-4, Nina, one goal. And we have played 12 minutes here at Semple Stadium. As Tommy Andring and from Kilsheel and waiting for Christy McLaughlin's puck out. The puck out to the far side of the field. John Heffron trying to get a stick to it. Michael Sleary did. Michael was fouled in possession by Brendan Carroll and it's a free in to Aerog Nina. Dead straight in the centre of the field. Hall of Clary on puck sale leash. Sends it in. Backs and forwards looking for it to come down. It's gone in. It hops out over the end line and wide. And so the scoreline remains. Sarsfields 1 4. Nina 1 goal. And Nina playing. We've played 12 and a half minutes. Nina playing with the aid of the breeze or whatever breeze is in it in the first half. The ground flag certainly showing a preference for the Aerog men. That ball broken, Frank Moran's stick goes in that break. Red Sox number 12, that's Morris McCormick. Morris on a solo run, in pursuit all the way. Still Morris, the ball comes eventually off the stick of the Aero man, deflected off the stick of Morris, out over the sideline. Sideline cut to... Thurless to be taken by the centre fielder, Brendan Carroll. Brendan O'Carroll, Puck Tavelina. 23, 24 metres out. This side of the field. Cuts it across the centre. 
Out comes Mike uh, Coffey, getting it out a little bit. Only out to the centre. Pull back by Quinn. Into Morn. Frank Morn didn't get to where he intended. Send in feet again to Seamus Quinn. Seamus is there, it's locked down. It's with John Heffern and the blue helmet. Out to the side of the feet. Out to Paul Kennedy. Will Paul get to it? Before Brendan Carroll gets the second by Heather Cherry. It's broken to number 15. That's Graham O'Connor. It's with... Uh, Paul Kennedy, Paul, Paul is fouled in possession and a free to air rogue, the free to be taken by Philip Kennedy. 72 metres out from his own goals, sends it in around the house. Paul Dolan and Seamus O'Shea are under that one. None of them get to it, he broke it inside the full forward line, picked up by the wing back Seamus Maher. He knows Paul Dolan trying to get a stick to it. Sends it in, sends it out over the end line. Defensive of 65, comes off the boot of Tommy Maher, the fullback. back. August Puck, Tave, Shaska Coig made of the air old Nina. <coughs> a 65 to the air old men to be taken by Michael Fleary. Seventy metres out, looking up, sending this one in. The umpire going for the signal, but the signal is, is wide, and the scoreline remains. One four for Sarsfield, one goal for Nina, and we have played fifteen minutes halfway through the first half, and certainly the anticipated cracker before this game has yet to materialise. Fifteen minutes gone, fifteen to go to half time. Coming out from Paddy McCormack's puck out. Connie Maher across the field, picked up by uh, Paul Kennedy, out to this side of the field to Philip Kennedy. Philip up along this side of the field towards Ronan Burns. J uh, send inside, breaks inside to Neely Corbett. Neely Corbett, a hand pass out to Paul Dolan with the white helmet, looks up, sends it in, and that could be a good score. Yes, it is. Pauline on all in the Paul Dolan, the scoreline now reads Aero, one four and one goal and one point. Sarchfields, one point, or one goal and four. And we have played 17 minutes, sorry, 16 minutes. As Pat McCormack with the puck out. Out to this side of the field. Under that one will be Paul Kennedy, Paul Fowling, his man. Referee Tommy Londigan indicating a push in the back of his pucks. Sale the Connie Maher. Connie, 54 metres out, sends it in, but sends it to the right and wide. And certainly, both teams throwing away a number of scoring frees in this early stages. Christy McLaughlin's puck out to the centre of the field. Philip Kennedy coming up to that one, didn't get to it. Broken by Seamus O'Shea into the centre. Racing back together will be John Heffern and keeps it on the ground to the far side of the field. Out to Ronan Burns across to this side of the field to Robbie Tomlinson who has moved out field. Picked up by Seamus O'Shea. Been challenged there by Ronan Burns. Picked up in the centre by Brendan Carr. Or by Brendon Carroll, each shot is locked down by the number 10, that's uh, John Kennedy, John still battling for it, picked up to this side of the field to Ronan Burns, Ronan Burns in field, in between the full back and the full forward, broken down inside, Michael Maher gets a stick to it, each shot is locked down by Paul Dolan, out comes the full back Tommy Maher and clears it up the field, up to the centre, broken down nicely for John Heffern and waiting for the breaking ball, look to be fouled, referee giving him an advantage, John sending it up to the field, up towards the wing back and wing forward, Torres men getting their seconds mixed up, it's broken outside to Michael Maher, Michael out to the centre to the number eight, that's uh, John Dorney, John Dorney the athlete, sends, kicks it up field, picked up there by John Heffern and John operating in more centre of roll now, sends it up field, up towards his forwards, Robbie Thomas are breaking down, to Carver inside, a hand pass outside to Thomas and a shot and a point! The scoreline reads, one goal and two points for Aero. One goal and four points for uh, Sarsfield, and we have played 18 minutes. More defensive work there by Aero, producing that score from their forwards, who are spreading out a bit more. The ball broken down to Connie Maher from that puck out resulted. Connie batting hard for it, broken back to John Heffernan. John, no nonsense play, up towards his corner forward, up towards Robbie Thomas, and broken inside nicely for Robbie, Neely Carver getting a stick to it, pushed out there by the full back Tommy Maher out to this side of the field too, uh, number 12, that's Ronan Burns, he didn't get it, cleared up field by Sparrow for Turles, up to the centre, Frank Moore, John Heffern and getting a stick to it, broken back to Kennedy, Paul, Paul Kennedy on the solar run, being chased all the way by two Turles men, tries to get away from it, 
kicked the ball out over the far sideline. Now it's puck Tavelina, the Dorla Salia. Almost 19 minutes gone. The scoreline reads Nina 1 2, Sarge Phillips 1 4. As the sideline foot is taken on the far side, only comes the score as Michael Cleary. That one is flicked off his stick by John Dorney as all over the far sideline. Puck sale, I think. A free to air old to be taken by John Heffernan yesterday's. Lobs it along the house, towards Corbin and Maher. Eddie Tucker trying to get a better at you and get Tony Ocho with the head, tries to pick it. Succeeds though at the second attempt. And Eddie with the ball in the hand, a loose man outside, and that's Kennedy. He didn't take that option, sends it in free. In towards the ball back, Tommy Maher. And pass it outside to a loose man. That loose man is Brendan Carr. Brendan being pursued all the way by Philip Kennedy. Philip Kennedy blocks his shot down. He's out to the far side of the feet to John Dorney. And John looking up, he's hooked against that one by Paul Dolan. The ball broken across to Dolan. Gets the better of the duel. Then it in phase, picked up by Shane Sashay, back to John Dorney, picked up by uh, Kennedy, Philip, a shot from Philip, and it's a point, yes it is! <laughs> one goal and three points, Aero, one goal and four, and we have played 20 minutes for the Sarsfields. 20 minutes gone, the Torres Sarsfields fall back, Tommy Maher to about to receive attention. With his own with the puck out to Pat McCormick and Turles Archfields. Out to this side of the field. On there will be Brendan Carroll along the far this side of the field. In towards his corner forward, uh, Quinn. Or Graham O'Connor it is. Graham O'Connor picking it up, being pursued all the way by uh, Kennedy. Happy in there as well. Graham coming very close to the sideline and gone out over the sideline with the ball. And I'm afraid the, the width of Turles pitch certainly not been well used by the Torres Starsfields men. As Graham picks himself off the ground, the sideline cut is to a rogue Nina, and the, the taker will be Noel Coffey. Noel Ego Coffey, mission puck, Tavelina Hogan, into the centre, Frank Morton got a stick to it. Michael Seary pulls in that one with John Dorney. Frank Morton keeping it a bit further, out towards uh, Neely Carb, or towards uh, Tucker, that Eddie Tucker picks up eventually by the Jim Maloney of Starsfields, sends up to the side of the field. To uh, Kennedy, pulls it on the, in the air, to the side of the field, towards Eddie Tucker. Eddie comes off the stick of the Torres Starsfield man, that's Jim Maloney all over the sideline. Ronan Burns, top of the left on the Air Oak team. Eddie Tucker, left half forward on the Air Oak team. A switch on the Air Oak team. The ball's into the far side of the field. Over towards, uh, pulled there by John Kennedy. Across towards the corner, towards the loose man. That loose man wasn't there. He needed cover racing out to get it. Been go there by the fullback, Tommy Maher. Still, Maher with the ball in his hand, going very close to the... And is penalised, or is awarded a free out for a foul. Because Sailed, uh, Dorla Sailor. Michael Sparrow will take that one from the cornerback position. Michael leaving it and going back to cover the, cover the goals. Leaves it to the goalkeeper, Pat McCormick. Cool ball of Dorla Sailor, Patrick McCormick. They should puck Sarah Hogan. In the air, Michael Sterry didn't get to that one, neither did John Dorney. The ball broken down eventually to John Dorney. John picking it up, sending it across to this side of the field. Happy getting a stick to it to Kennedy in the centre, out to the far side to uh, that's the number 13, uh, Robbie Tomlinson, sends it in, in towards Kennedy to Noni Neely Carver, a loose man outside him. Carver still batting for it. Out to it comes to Tucker, Eddie, Eddie fouled in possession of it, still cut the arrow. A free to air oak, a foul there by the Torres Sarsfield defence on Eddie Tucker. Certainly Neely Corbett providing the uh, space needed by the air oak forwards. As Michael Seary with the free, 44 metres out, sends it in and sends it over the bar. 
as Pat McCormack with the puck out to the centre of the field. Michael Terry and John Dorney batting for it. Terry puts up a hand. Breaks to the far side of the field to a John. That's John Kennedy along the ground to Robbie Tomlinson. Michael Terry still batting for it. Kicked out there by Seamus Maher. Kicked up along the far sideline. Going very close to the far side. Out comes Donny O'Brien. Gone over the sideline in the Oak ball, I think. An air Oak ball coming off this, the boot of Graham O'Connor. Quite a sizable crowd here at Simple Stadium. I reckon something in the region of about four, ten to 12,000 people. That ball broken back to Frank Moore and plays it back nicely to his cornerback, Donny O'Brien, and shares it up the field, up to the far side of the field. John Kennedy getting a stick to it and getting the breaking ball in return. A loose ball across to uh, Eddie Tucker. Eddie Tucker lifts it on a, soul, on a run, sends it in towards Harvard. Shot his hand to save it. Come over the bar. It's gone over the bar. A great score by Eddie Tucker. 1-5 to Aero, 1-4 to Starsfields, and we have played 25 minutes, 25 and a half minutes or so. As Pat McCormack, the scoreline reads again, Aero 1-5, Thomas 1-4, Pat McCormack getting the length into that one. Aero certainly opening up the play, Connie Maher pulling on that one in the air, cleared up by uh, Coffey, picked up by uh, 13, that's uh, Graham O'Connor a shot, and it's a Graham O'Connor point. Picked up by Paddy Maher, I should say. Paddy Maher at number 13 and sent over the bar. Paddy putting that one between the posts. Christie's puck out to this side of the field. Eddie Tucker bringing it down nicely. Half block down. Cleared up by Jim Maloney. Picked up by Michael Clary in the centre. Tried to get home to swing his stick. Looked to be fouled. Uh, Brendan Carroll gets the better of that, Jules. Into the centre of the field. A switch on the turn of Sarsfield we'll team. We'll tell you what, a hand a moment. A break with Connie Maher. Send in towards the full back and the full forward. Out comes Tony O'Brien. Leaves it behind. He picked up nicely by Conor Donovan. Conor Donovan out to the centre. Two. John Kennedy trying to get one handed swing at it. Two air old men going for it. They send it out this side of the field. It comes to. Uh, that looks like Roland Burns beating to whatever the corner back. Getting the better of that duel. Roland still trying to work his way in. Suck stays in doing show. A shot from Roland and this one gone to the left and it's gone wide. Uh, Aharu at Fulham Dor Lasalia. Centre half forward now reads Lean Duggan. Connie Maher gone at full forward on the Torres Sarsfields team. Twenty-seven minutes gone as Pat McCormack pucks the ball out to this side of the field. Torres man getting the better of that Breaking back together with John Heffernan. A loose man behind him if he wants to take the option. John going across his own goals. Still has a loose man outside. That loose man is Noel Coffey. Noel up along the side of the field towards, jo uh, towards Ronan Burns. Will Noel yes in field from Ronan towards Neely Corbett. Neely trying to make space for himself. Sock stays in doing so. A shot from Neely and a point. And certainly a full forward of Neely's calibre has done a lot of work to date. And that one got between the post from the stick of Neely Corbett. 1 5 for Sarchfields. And the scoreboard for Air Oak, I think, should read 1 6 when it comes up on this. When it comes on it. The ball broken out to the far side of the field. Michael Terry looked to be fouled, was fouled, and it's a free two. Uh, Air Oak Nina. 1 6 to 1 5. Colleen, a 1 is a 4. Now, 28 minutes gone. Puxer, the Hiano Heffernan. 49 metres out from his own goals. In toe around the house. Broken down inside by centre half back Seamus O'Shea. It comes out to Roland Burns. He didn't get to it. Jim Maloney gets a stick to it instead. Philip Kennedy of Aero trying to get to it. Suck season doing so. In pursuit all the way. Out to the side of the field. Comes off the stick of the Aero man over the sideline. Carlos Sarsfield's sideline cut to be taken by Michael Maher, the cornerback. Michal Maher and Puck Tavelina Hogan. He's 55 metres out from... 45 metres out from his own goals. Puts it in towards Frank Warren, puts the hand up, grabs it. It's followed by the full forward, Leamy Duggan, now operating at centre half forward. It was Puck there, the Aina Caroon. Puck there, the Hiano Heffernan. John Heffernan with, leaves it to Philip Kennedy, and Philip gains a few metres. Referee spots that one, so he has to go back to the original position. Yeah, 
Philip Kennedy, the fair haired Philip, with the free, loving it in around the house, nearly covered with his side, open his side, by the full back, Tommy Maher out over his back, gone out at the expense of a 65, it's gone off the centre back, Seamus O'Shea. Puck Sheska, Coig Mather, the Aero Nina. Back to Michael Cleary getting the signal to go for. Go for the point, I think. Certainly within Michael's reach, and we have played 29 and a half minutes. 1 6 to 1 5. Michael with the 65. This one is gone. It's gone in. It's gone over the bar. The umpire looked and looked and the signal went up. The scoreline are read. They wrote one seven. Torres Sarsfield's one five. And I think we're very close to the half-time whistle. Tommy Lundgren looks at that watch. I can tell him he's played 30 minutes exactly. Out to this side of the field. Philip Kennedy trying to get a stick to a sub season going so to Eddie Tucker. And certainly Aerog opening up the ground more. Out to John Kennedy. John left to get in towards Corbett. Looked to be fouled inside. Tommy Maher getting it. Coming out the field, leaving it behind him. Still Tommy kicking it out the field. He's pursued all the way by Corbett. Backing Harper being fouled by Corbett and a free out too. Uh, Torla Sarsfields. Ronan Burns there seemed to take a knock. But Ronan back. Okay, again, just feeling the shoulder. As the free has been taken by Michael Maher. We play 31 minutes. The ball into the hands of the number 10. That's uh, uh, the number Graham O'Connor. A shot from Graham on a point. The number 50. Graham O'Connor grabbing it nicely and sending it over the bar. The puck off by Christy McLaughlin. Out to this side of the field and I think there goes the half-time whistle. She, she Shannon, Dara on Kate La on score and each. Nina, one goal and seven. Torres Sarchfields, one goal and six. Got a toss no one down the last long go pole. Boys are over Ashley and Darren Lala in Tehe, the Research League of the Sierra Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second half of the County Senior Hurling semi final here at Temple Stadium Turles. The scoreline of each, Nina 1 7, uh, Torres Ashley 1 6, the first of break of Rayway, Brendan Carroll of Turles, up to the far side of the field, 2, uh, Paddy Mahar, Paddy batting for out there, Conning getting a stick to it, Frank Morton, uh, Philip Kennedy, a sea of players in there. Yeah, eventually cleared up by Paddy Mahar to the far side of the field. Over there to get it will be Graham O'Connor. Graham lifts it. Gets in, tries to get inside the defence. Flicks it in. Didn't read that to Noel Coffey. Cleared out the field. Out comes two. Uh, Maher. A stick to it. Staying on the far side. Out to the centre to uh, Eddie Tucker. Eddie getting a stick to it with the red helmet. Pushing it up ahead of him. Still batting for it across the centre of the field. The referee there getting over the ball. Out to the side of the field. It comes. Out two. Uh, that's the number 12 for Turles, Morris McCormack. Morris fall in possession and a free in to uh, Turles Archfields. Can Turles Archfields level the scoring after one minute and 23 seconds of the second half? Puck Sayer, the Seamus O'Shea. A Hamish, listen, Tave Puck, listen, Puck Sayer Hogan. 65, 64 odd metres out from the Aero goals. Bending, lifting, striking, sending this one in. It looks good. The umpire going for the signal, but it's gone out over the end line and wide. 
The young pair certainly took a long time to make up his mind. And the score line remains 1 7 to 1 6 in favour of the men from Air Nina as Christy McLaughlin, Chris Dorish, and Pokemok Arish out to the centre. John Dorney tried to get a stick to that one, took a knock on the head. Paul Doran. In ten field, in towards to Robbie Tomlin, or in towards Eddie Tucker, Eddie Beatonford, cleared out the field by Seamus Maher, picked up by Michael Clare, he looked to be fouled, advanced by the referee, back to Kennedy, his midfield partner, across field to a loose man, that loose man is John Burns, or Ronan Burns, brother of John, sending it in field to, locked in ball to goalkeeper Pat McCormack, that one is sent in there by, Ro out to the far side of field it comes, picked up on the far side by, and uh, Noel Coffey, out to the centre to Michael Clary. Michael's long delivery upfield, up towards Corbett, broken down inside for the cornerback. That's Michael Maher, beaten to it, back to the ball back, Tommy Maher. Out comes to uh, Eddie Tucker. Eddie has difficulty lifting it, still Eddie battling for it, being hooked off the wall. Broke out to Kennedy, Philip, across field to a loose man. That loose man is the number 10, John Kennedy. John beaten to that one by the tallest man, picked inside to uh, John. Kennedy in field, in towards Neely, Carver brings it down, brings it down to a loose man, that loose man is Eddie Tucker, low delivery from Eddie, inside to the goalkeeper, backed inside by the goalkeeper, Hat McCormack, at the expense of a 65, Puck Sheska, quite made of the Aerog Nina, Pat McCormack bringing off that one, and deflecting it off at the expense of a 65, the scoreline reads, Nina 1-7, Torres Archfields 1-6, and we have played, three minutes, and attention there to, uh, John Durney, the Torles Arsfield's midfielder, John, a former athlete with Torles, Crokes AC, receiving a bit of attention. Midfielder John Durney back on his feet as Michael Cleary sends that one in and sends it over the bar. The scoreline now reads Nina. One goal and eight points. Turner Sarsfield, one goal and six. And we have played about six minutes. Not of normal time. An injury to John Durney, I'm sure, will be added on by referee Tommy Londring at the end of the game. The pucking out coming from Pat McCormack. Picks up there by Morris McCormack. Morris loses it, Michael Cleary picks up the pieces, sends it out to the centre, picked up by Seamus Maher, Seamus on Maher, he shot his lockdown, broken to Philip Kennedy, and certainly Aero more determined in the second half, out to the side of the feet to Robbie Tomlinson, Robbie's trying to put the ball on his stick, succeeds in though he saw a shot, that was Colleen out of there, he has, blocked down inside by Pat McCormick, he shot his half blocked down as he clears that one out, picked up by the cornerback Michael Maher, out to the far side of the feet, out to Kennedy, uh, Broken in by Brendan Carroll, out to the centre of the field, picked up by Carroll, tries to walk his way out of trouble, looked to be fouled, referee had blown his whistle and awards a free to turn the Sargefields. Certainly uh, a save from the top draw there by Paddy McCormick, the turnless goalkeeper. That ball by Robbie Tomlinson lobbing into him, but he equal to the task and back with the free to Seamus O'Shea and Turles. Puck sale to Seamus of a stoneless alien, lobbing it in around the house. Oh, Donovan, and the full forward, getting a stick to it as a full forward, that's Lee Duggan. Out to the far, Donovan with the ball in his hand, looked to be held, was held, and it's a free out to Aero. Conor O'Donovan, from his own end line, with the free. Will he get length, will he get distance into this one? Yes, he does, he gets height as well. It's broken up towards John Kennedy, comes off the stick of the Torres Sarsfields man. Out over the sideline, so it's a sideline cut to Airog. Sideline cut for Michael. Eighty odd meters out from the Torres Archfield's goals with the sideline cut. Hints and towards Paul Dolan, didn't get a stick to O'Shea of Torres does. The centre half back clears it out the feed, out to a centre half forward is Connie Maher coming away ahead of Frank Morton. The ball broken to Michael Cleary, being hooked off the ball, looked to be foul, given advantage by the referee. Brooks to Kennedy in the centre, along the ground to the number 10, that's John Kennedy, his brother of Philip, across to the far side of the feed. Breaks to get it is uh, Philip Kennedy up towards the corner, certainly a rogue opening up the spaces. Tommy Maher racing back to get it for Turles Archfield, been pursued all the way by Neely Carbert. Tommy playing football with it, going very close to the far sideline and out over the sideline. The Turles selectors having a head to head here on this sideline. 
just see what movements they're going to make. An aerog substitution, Dennis Fennerty warming up along the sideline. As the sideline cut on the far side, the page will be taken by Philip Kennedy. Philip O'Kaneda and puck table now Hogan across the centre. Well, John Kennedy gets it out when he breaks out to this side of the field. Looked to be a push. It was a push by uh, the number eight. That's John Dorney on the Aerog man, Michael Cleary. August Clare puck the Aerog. 20 metre free for Aerog to be taken by none other than Michael Cleary. Can he make it 1 9 to 1 6 in favour of the light blues? Michael with the shot and Michael with the point. And are we about to have a Turles substitution, a Turles sub warming up as well? The Turles mentors doing a bit of writing at the moment. Certainly Dennis Finnerty warming up for Airlogue as Pat McCormack with the puck out to the centre and beyond. Connie Maher waiting for that ball to break behind Frank Horn. Broken by uh, Kennedy into the centre. Michael Cleary trying to get a stake to it. Paul Kennedy does. Going up for this John Kennedy. Gets the stake to it. Uh, Jim Maloney of Sarsfields. Jim up towards the centre half forward position. Out comes the full back. Donovan and a nice clearance by Connor. Out to Frank Moore in the centre half back. And the man next, ex Loraman, getting the ball in his hand and clearing it out the field. Up towards the far side of the field. Out comes the corner forward. The corner back with him, Michael Maher. Beat to there by Eddie Tucker. Eddie across field to the side of the field. By a loose man there is Michael Sparrow. And certainly the Sparrow is flying as he gets that ball out to the centre to his corner back, Michael Maher. Michal Maher. Into the centre to John Dorney. John Dorney tries difficulty lifting it. Succeeds. Back to Frank Morden. Frank takes it to Philip Kennedy. Philip Kennedy is out of the field too. Robbie Tomlinson. Robbie out to leave it instead too. Uh, Ronan Burns. A shot from Ronan. And this one has gone to the right and it's gone wide. John Kennedy it was. John Kennedy the man sitting down to the right and wide. Not Ronan Burns. Ronan on the opposite side of the field. And a Sarsfield substitution. That's Lard Barris on the Turles team. Lard Barris is making his appearance on the Turles team. And the man to come off, I think, will be looking to see who's coming off the Turles team. 16, Seamus Quinn, I think, is the man to go. Maybe not. There's a man coming off. Yes, not Seamus Quinn. The man coming towards the sideline anyway. Definitely on the team is Lard Barris. The puck out by Pat McCormack. I'll tell you about who's coming off in a moment. The ball broken down to the side of the field. Three Torres men getting their signals mixed up. It's with Connie Maher. Connie Maher sending it in. It's gone in. It's gone over the bar. Connie Maher, the scorer. Graham O'Connor is off the Torres team. Replaced by Larry Barrett. Number 17 replaces number 15 on the Torres team. As Christy McLaughlin. The scoreline reads. Aero 1-9. Torres Sarsfields 1-7. Chris Dorlish and Puckamaka Reach. It lodges 80 metres out from the, his own goals. Broken to Eddie Tucker. And certainly Eddie lifting the siege for Aerobe today. It breaks to this side of the field too. The number 10, that's John Kennedy. He shot it knocked down. Eddie Tucker tried to get a second by the cherry. It's half succeeding though. So flicks it away to Paul Dolan. Seamus O'Shea with the ball for Torla Sarsfield. Out to the middle of the field to Brendan Carroll. Brendan with the ball on his solo run. Being chased by, uh, into the hands of the Aerobe man. Number 7, that's uh, Paul Kennedy. Paul Kennedy across field. To this side of the field. It comes to... Uh, Robbie Tomlinson. Robbie tries to beat uh, the cornerback. Tries to beat the Torless man. He fouls him in position. That's uh, Seamus Maher. Agus pucks there the Dorla Sale. Pucks there the Seamus O'Shea. The Hamish. He's 43 metres or so. Sends it out to this side of the field. John Hefford looking for the ball to come. Tony O'Brien keeping an eye on it. With the Graham O'Connor. Graham going right to. Uh, that was Seamus Quinn going very close to it. Cleared out field by Donny O'Brien. Into the hands of Michael Cleary. Michael is fouled in possession. August Puck sailed the air old Nina. And Conor Donovan coming out from full back to take it. <coughs> Conor with the free along this side of the field. And certainly air old not all the wood yet. This Torres team. Michael Sparrow bringing that one down only for the number 13. That's Robbie Tomlinson, and he's starting to Paul Dolan. Paul tries to walk his way through the West Meat man across the goals. It's broken inside to Michael Sparrow. Clears it out of field. Nearly covered. A shot from Eddie Tucker inside. Broken. Marsh McCormick getting it. Or Pat McCormick getting it. And clearing it out the field. Out to the side of the field. Pat McCormick certainly lifting the seat. Michael Cleary getting it. Despite the efforts of three players. Sending it out to the centre to his colleague John Heffernan. John O'Heffernan on the early Leroy Sean O'Heffernan. Hand pass outside to Dolan. Comes to, uh, to number 10. That's John Kennedy. He's shot his knocked down. Two. John Heffernan to Michael Cleary, a shot from Michal, that was Pauline, Pauline and that, Nihal, the ball going out over the end line and wide. 
the scoreline remains Nina 1-9 Sarchville's 1-7 and we have played 13 minutes of the second half the sun makes an appearance or certainly the gloom has gone out of it that ball broken down the far side by uh, John Heffernan out to Kennedy on the far side to Dolan Paul Paul with the white helmet going very close to the far side line sends it in towards Corbett will Corbett break that one down yes he does nearly Corbett has definitely got definitely a shot and a great save again by McCormick inside it's still inside with the, goal, with the full back Tommy Maher Tommy Maher out to his wing back uh, Seamus Maher Seamus lifting it out to the side of the field a lowish one up to John Dorney in the centre Michael Cleary standing off him John Dorney across field racing over there together will be Noel Coffey Noel Coffey being pursued by Lar Barrett hand on the back from Lar getting out the field is Noel outside to a loose man that's Kennedy Kennedy outside to another Kennedy Phillip going it alone sending it up up field ahead of him up towards Dolan takes his eye off that ball broken back to Connie Maher clears in field by Connie in comes Tony O'Brien gets ahead of it breaks it down nicely to Seamus Quinn Seamus Quinn a shot and this one is gone to the left and it's gone wide the scoreline reads Nina one goal and nine Torless one goal and seven of his tongue Green it can have and shot here at Dolan's area as Christy McLaughlin pucks the ball out to the side of the field Michal O'Cleary under that ball leaves it to jo picks it up eventually by Michael gone very close to the sideline line man indicating the ball hadn't crossed the line John Dorney getting it up to uh, Coffey in the corner broken inside to the 13 that's Paddy Maher a shot from Paddy Christian McLaughlin grabs it inside as the backs and forwards come for it out to this side of the field Jimmy Hall O'Cleary and Brendan, uh, Brendan Carroll broken out to uh, the number 13 Robbie Tomlinson fouled by John Dorney and certainly John Dorney a lucky man not to have a name in a book The free to, to Air Rogue Nina, the free to Sean O'Heffernan. He's 70 metres from his own goals. He's on the, new, he's on the old stand side of the ground here at Semple Stadium. Sends it across field. Dolan trying to get a stick to that one. Broke down inside. Eddie Tucker picks up the pieces. Leaves the ball behind him. Nearly Carver tried to lift it. Broke out to the 13. That's Robbie Tomlinson. A shot and Robbie a point. The scoreline now reads one goal and watching some switches going around on both teams as Pat McCormack, I'll give you the scoreline in a moment, pucks it out, out to this side of the field. John Heffernan getting a stick to that one, Michael Cleary picking it up, keeping it on the ground, or try to keep it on the ground. Frank Morton tried to lift it, succeeds in doing so, and pass it outside to John Heffernan. Sean O'Heffernan and Puck Reach into the corner to John Kennedy, look to be hooked off the ball. Beaten to there by Seamus Maher. Seamus broken back to John Kennedy a loose man outside that was Michael Cleary took the wrong option broken inside eventually to 13 that's Robbie Tomlinson can he repeat the dose for Aero Robbie looked to be held referee waving play on yes Robbie eventually fouling his man in a free out to uh, Torla Sarsh with a foul there on Seamus O'Shea 110 to 17 the scoreline reads 17 minutes gone in the second half as Paddy McCormack there used to be a Paddy McCormick and awfully called the Iron Man from Road, but this Paddy McCormick is a Turtle Sarsfield man, and certainly he has proved to be the Iron Man of Turtle Sarsfield today. The buck out by Paddy, or the free out by Paddy, Michael Cleary and John Dorney batting for it. Cleary, Dorney getting it, sending it in towards his forwards. Graham O'Connor picked up inside by Conrad and Yvonne, and Farrow Limonock, I guess Conrad and Yvonne and Cleary and Sonoc out to the centre of the field. Out it comes to Seamus O'Shea, coming very close to this sideline, gone out over the sideline. Puck Tavelina the Dolores Aelia and Puck Hogan's Les Seamus O'Maher. And the referee going to book one of the Aerobe mentors. Tommy Landring there having a word for the Aerobe uh, doctors, or one of the mentors actually. That sideline cut was sent across the field. No, Coffee fouls. Fouling our Paul. Paul Kennedy fouling the Turles Sarsfield man in a free end to Turles. This one to be taken by none other than Seamus Quinn. The man from Killine and to take the free. Seamus Quinn, Lishan Pucks there. This one going in. It's the single go up. One goal and ten to one goal and eight. 
and we have played, I make it about 18 minutes. 18 minutes of the second half gone. Two points between the teams, a very slender margin in the senior championship game. 12 minutes to go. Christie's puck out to the centre. Picked up there by Brendan Carroll. Jumping higher for it, getting it. Still batting Hartford over on the far side, being chased all the way by uh, Paul Kennedy. Send in field. John Heffernan trying to get that one. Broken back to Donny O'Brien. Took his eye off the ball. Out to the centre. Out to John Dorney. Loose. Twice to lift it. Took a long time to lift it, John. Sends it in field. In between the fullback and the ball. inside by uh, the Aroak man and the free in two. Grabbed inside by the tallest man. He's grabbed and turned by the Aroak man and a free in two. Uh, Seamus Quinn and Torless Archmills. Can can the mighty Quinn make it one goal and nine to one goal and ten? Twenty metres from the ball, says Tommy Londrigan. Outside the twenty metre line as well, as Seamus Quinn sends this one in and over the bar. Twenty minutes gone, ten to go. And certainly 10 minutes as helmets being discarded here at Simple Stadium. As Christy McLaughlin's puck out to the centre of the field, to Clary. Still passing for it there with Morris McCormack. Up to this side of the field, Torres with her tails up on his stage. Connie Maher, beaten good by Michael Clary from the breaking ball. Up the field from Michael, goes down as he hits that one. Inside the break, picked up by the Torres man. Out the field, that's our Jim Maloney, picked up there by... Uh, no copy, no foul in possession and a free out to Aero. Lar Barrett, the man coming in the free. <laughs> Not too many county finals or semi finals has ended in draws, but John Heffernan taking this free. The scoreline reads 110 for Aero, 19 for. Uh, and another substitution warming up for Nero. The ball with uh, Paul Dolan broken inside too. Uh, to number 13, that's Robbie Thomas and a shot. It's backed up by Pat McCormack. And Pat lifting the stage and awarded a free out to Torless Archfields. Pat McCormack, certainly my man of the match for Torless Archfields, playing a storm between the posts. A rogue number 17 warming up. That's Dinny Finnerty. Dennis was warming up a few moments ago. Is now backing the warming up parade again. That's Pat McCormack taking the free out to the far side of the field. Up they go for the far side. Picked up there by the Paul Kennedy. Kicks it out to the far side of the field. Racing out again in Michael Cleary going very close to the far sideline. And uh, Michael crossing the line, so to speak. There's a bit of hurdy-gurdy going on off the ball. Certainly uh, Paul Maher or Seamus Maher and Robbie Tomlinson. And the linesman on the far side, certainly not the most popular man, I'd say in North Tipperary. That linesman, I think, is uh, Sammy Ryan. Yes, Sammy, the man from the West Division. That ball with uh, Jim Maloney and to Clary. There he brings it out. Looked to be fouled again. Picked it off the ground by the tallest man and kicked away by John Dorney. And certainly the referee moving the ball, the required 10 metres. Another Air Oak substitution coming out of the dugout. That's number 18, Michael Kennedy. Mihalo Kennedy. Are we going to have a double substitution for Air Oak? The two Air Oak men certainly on the, on the sideline waiting for it to come into the action. Mihalo Cleric with the free on the far side of the field. 70 metres out. A shot by Michael. Looks good from the signal. Yes, it is. Toshrod and Pushik, Kuntasik Arish, Nina leading, one goal and ten to Turtle Sarchfields, one goal and a 1-11 to 1-9. The ball out of the side of the field to Robbie Tomlinson. John Dorney batting for Tomlinson, getting a second by Heffernan, keeping it moving to Paul Dolan. Paul Dolan in field, in towards the corner, back in the corner forward, broken inside nicely to Corbett. Breaks it outside him, cleared up by the fullback Tommy Maher, out to the far side of the field. Out comes Kennedy, Kennedy getting a boat to it, beaten down there by the full forward Liam Duggan, the far forward that was. Out to the centre, picked up by Neely Carver, across field to Dolan, takes his eye off the ball, beats, uh, tries to beat uh, Brendan Carroll, two tourists men going for it, Robbie Tom, or 
Cleared out by Kennedy. That's Paul of Rogue. Up to the corner. Where's he out there to get it? Will be Ronan Burns. Ronan Burns across to this side of the field. A loose man inside. That's number 10. John Kennedy, a shot. Agus Coley in the air rogue. Ain Cole, Agus Ain Coley in the air The air rogue. Ain Cole, Agus Nay Coley in the door of the And we have played 23 and a half minutes of football coming quickly from Paddy McCormack. Broken down inside. Tony O'Brien getting a stick to it. Uh, the cornerback Noel Coffey and the air rogue man gone down injured at the moment. The referee has blown his whistle towards a free in. Uh, an off the ball incident there with Tony O'Brien and. A free in it is to Dorless Ailia. Puck stay at the Dorless Ailia. Hain Cole, August Scott Colleen, they have the Aile of Colon. Hain Cole, August Nate Colleen, the Dorless Ailia. August Toss, Fihe, Hain Nomad, Numa Shin, Imahas and Donnella. Seamus Quinn with the free. Bending, lifting, striking, sending it in. Oh, Christy, Big Christy comes for it. Big Christy gets it out to the side of the field. They're coming with it now. It's with the number 13. That's Robbie. Robbie Townsend. The ball on the stick. Kicks it ahead of him. He looks to be held by Brendan Carroll. Still Robbie. Lifting the stage for Aero. Out to Kennedy. Kennedy grabbing it. Putting it ahead of him. Tries to make room to swing his stick. Kicks it instead. In field. Just there by Torres. Neely Carver. Out to the side of the field. It comes to uh, John Kennedy. Sean O'Canada. Picking it up. Sending it in. And this one is over. Is it not? Paddy McCormick grabs it inside. Over to the far side of the field, tramped by Philip Kennedy. The ball broken down to John Kennedy. Connie Maher out to the far side to the number 13. That's Paddy Maher. Paddy Maher into the number 9. Brendan Carroll. Carroll shot and this one gone in and gone over the bar. 112 to 1. 112 to 110 the scoreline reads. It gives me an opportunity to get a slug from the magic bottle. Some of the players are getting that slug as well. And the Aeroke man down with cramp or down with an injury, that's Philip Kennedy. And still those Aeroke substitutions, Dennis Finnerty and Michael Kennedy on the touchline. 20... Six minutes or so gone. Just on 26 minutes. Are we going to have an Aeroke substitution? I think we are. The, the instructions are going over all the place. Maybe they're. The puck out post from Christy McLaughlin. Out to the centre. Grabbed in there by the number 14. That's Liam Duggan. Into a loose man. That's Morris McCormick. Morris on a solar run. Being chased all the way. Morris looking up. A shot from Morris. And this one gone over the bar. 110 to 111, and we have a substitution on the Air Oak team. Michael Kennedy is on the Air Oak team. Michael replacing his brother Philip. Philip the man coming towards the sideline. One Kennedy replacing another. A straightforward substitution. Christy McLaughlin. If ever a puck out was important, this one must be. Referee checking. There's not 16 minutes. No ref, Tommy does not. The puck out will be taken by Chris Stowe. On far more larger away in a Caroon. The puck out to the side of the field, comes towards Robbie Tomlinson, comes towards the sideline, out over the sideline. 27 minutes of normal time, not including stoppages. They said it would be good. And what how right they were. The crowd here really looking up to a thrilling game. That ball sent in by Seamus Maher. Robbie Tomlinson getting it in the centre. Seamus Maher picking up the pieces. Michael Fleary half hooked as he hit that one. Out to this side of the field. Sent up by Horace Ashford. Up to the corner. Messi back there to get her with Donny O'Brien. Keep it in play at all costs. Donny O'Brien along this side of the field. Not in. And over over the sideline. A sideline cut to Sarchfields. And if ever anybody was in a hurry, definitely 15 or so tourless men are now. The scoreline is reading 112 to 111. There's 27 and a half minutes. My co worker here, Brian O'Reilly, totting down the time. The time is ticking away. Tom Clugger Willa. Brendan O'Carroll, Lishan Puck Table, Lena Hogan. Sends it in. It could be a good one. It's gone. It's going, going out over the end line and wide. Tommy Lundgren looks at that watch. 28 minutes gone. Christie coming out, getting a length into it. Out towards Michael Fleary and John Gorney. 
broken down by Dorney across to Brendan Carroll. Brendan Carroll, there takes the eye on Walrus Coffee. Stainmate on the far side of the field. Brooked out to Cleary. Cleary tries to get away from a sea of players. Succeeds in doing so. Been pursued all the way. Michael Cleary is still going with it. Put the ball on the stick. Send it upfield. Up to the centre to Seamus O'Shea. Picks it up for Nero. O'Shea tried to get home to swing his stick. Out to the far side of the field to Jim Maloney. Jim Maloney off the field. Out of course, direction of Donny O'Brien. Look to be fouled. Frank Morgan gets a, gets a stick to it. Comes across to the centre to John Heffernan. John leaves it behind him. Honey Maher backing for Frank Morn. Out to Michael Cleary. Michal out there again. Listen, Lee Road up to the centre. On the line will be loose down. That's Michael Sparrow, I think. Sparrow shot it. Half blocked down there by Paul Dolan. He shot it stopped down in turn by Robbie Thomas. John Kennedy backing for it. The Sparrow coming out. Out to the centre to Morris McCormick. Morris foul in possession and uh, a foul in possession and a free to a free to turn the search bills. And certainly players getting to know one another a little bit better. 112 to 111. We have played. We have played 30 minutes and 28 seconds. Seamus Quinn. The Finnerty, Dennis Finnerty on the Dennis Finnerty on the Aero team. And the man to go off, I think, will be. Uh, it looks like Paul Kennedy, I think, coming to the line. Dennis Finnerty definitely on the team. Paul Kennedy, the man to come off. Team captain Paul Kennedy. A Seamus Quinn with the 65 metres sends it in around the house. Christy McLaughlin poised inside. Picked off the ground there by Lau Barrett. A very close to the ground. Frank Warren batting for it. And cleared out the field for Aero. Half side, half cleared out. It comes out eventually too. Brendan Carroll. Brendan tries to work his way in. A shot from Brendan. The sides are level. The sides are level here at Temple Stadium. 30 minutes and 27 seconds. And I think you may hear the final whistle shortly. The ball broken out to Morris McCormick. Morris tried to work his way upfield and pass it inside him to Connie Maher. A shot from Connie. Out it comes. Broken inside to Tony O'Brien. Racing back to get to the cornerback. Outfield it comes to Frank Bourne. The referee has blown his whistle. The referee has blown his whistle. We played 30 minutes and 46 seconds. And my oh my, uh, what a game. One goal and 12 to one goal and 12. Big Lyle, big and Gordon and Tuchinov. Big, big Lyle, big. Listen, scoreline of each. The scoreline from Simple Stadium, Torres. And just listen to the crowd as the team go off the field. One twelve to one twelve, certainly heart-throbbing stuff. A county semi-final draw, a draw here in front of a capacity crowd, and here we have it. <laughs> Just watching a very nice gesture as Christy McLaughlin rests to shake hands with the Turles Archfield's goalkeeper. Certainly sportsmanship of the highest degree by both teams. Cook Gordon's the Gordon and Shohanyo. Obviously scored there in the cup. Park Semple, Dorlis Ayla, Ian Caroon, Ian Cool, like a Scott Cooley in Deog. Miss Arshlig, Ian Cool, like a Scott Cooley in Deog. But Ian Kedor, Ellis Sloan, like a Spanock.
Queen of Wishla. For Fighter of Rash. The start simple, Dola Sela. For the second, North Prairie Senior Hurling semi final here at Simple Stadium, Turles. We have Lockmore, Castellani, and Tommy Barra. The teams are as follows Tommy Barra team at the Carolina end of the ground. The Carolina end of the ground, and they are as follows In goals, Jody Grace. The full back line, right cornerback, Pat Maher. Full back, Rory Westland. And left cornerback, Michael O'Mara. The half back line, right half back, Philip Shanahan. Center half back, George Friend. And left half back, Declan O'Mara. In Arna Park, uh, wearing number 10, Kenneth McDonald. Number 9, Pat King. The half forward line. Right half forward, Terry Dunway, number eight, centre half forward, Michael Murphy, and left half forward, Tommy Dunn. And the full forward line playing at top of the right, Liam Nolan. Full forward, Michael Nolan, and top of the left, Tommy Carroll. The Lockmore Castellini team in goal is Damon Sweeney. The full back line is Pat Cormac at right corner. Full back is Pat Tracy, and left corner is Frankie McGrath. And the half back line, Pat McGrath, Jim Mahara at centre half back, and John Kennedy at left half back. Lorna Park and Ned Ryan and Tom McGrath. The half forward line, right half forward, Michael McGrath. Centre half forward, Philip Kennedy, and left half forward, Seamus Bohan. And the full forward line, top of the right, Liam Cormack, full forward, John Cormack, and top of the left, Pat Lynch. The referee, and Ray Thor, son Clehesha, Pat Lundrigan of Galtier Rovers. The preliminaries are over, and now we have the second semi final. Either Tommy Varag, Lockmore, Casalini, the shake of the hand in the middle of the field. The referee checks his watch, and we have the about to have the commencement of this game. And put the away is number 10, Kenneth MacDonald for Tommy Vara. Jim Matter of Lockmore getting the hand along the center of the field. So Tom McGrath pulling on it, didn't get to it. Pat King gets it. A long striding pass up towards the number 12. That's Tommy down the shot over towards his far side. Towards the number eight, that's Terry, his brother. Terry on the far side of the field. Been pursued by Pat McGrath, sending it across the field. This one going hoppity hop all over the end line and wide. Outside the 20 meter line, says referee. Pat Londrigan as Eamon Moxivna or Lockmore Castellani with the puck out to the centre of the field. Pat King trying to get to it. Ned Ryan gets a stick to it instead. It's broken back. George Friend can get, get back to collect it. Didn't get to it. It's broken outside to the centre of the field. Picked up by the midfielder. That's uh, Ned Ryan. Ned Ryan's shot in. It's gone to the right and it's gone wide. And certainly after the excitement of the previous game, this game has yet to ignite as Jody Grace pucks it out, picks up the, the quite a cornerback, Frankie McGrath, dispossessed by uh, the central half forward Mihala Moraku and a foul to the man from Lockmore. Interestingly enough, both of these teams trained by men from Offaly, Joachim Kelly, the man at the helm in Lockmore, Castellini, and Padjo Whelan, the man at the helm in... Uh, in Tommy Vara. The, the free out comes out to the side of it. George Friend trying to get a stick, but broken back to Pat Maher. Pazago Maher, Lish and Law, just around the law, out to the side of the field, coming right close to the sideline, gone out over the sideline. Sideline cut to Lockmore Castellini. Nolly Goreen, Lish and Puck Tavely, now Hogan, Ned Ryan. Sideline cut. 70. 
45 metres or so out. Till then two. Uh, Dickie O'Mara. Dickie has difficulty lifting it. Breaks out two. Uh, the centre half forward, Philip Kennedy in field. It breaks back to Pat King, the centre fielder for Tommy Vada. Up the field. Up the direction of Pat McGrath. Coming out to get it across field from his opposite wing back position. Sending it across to this side of the field. Cast my thumb didn't get to it. It blocks back two. Uh, that's another McGrath. That's another or the Seamus Bohan. Seamus Bohan over across the far side of the field. Broken in sight. Picked up by uh, Philip Shannon. I think Philip was fouled in possession and free out. <laughs> the free out to Tommy Vara to be taken by Michael O'Mara. Right cornerback. Sorry, left cornerback on the Tommy Vara team. Sends up towards centre half forward Michael Murphy and Jim Maher. Picked up there nicely by John Kennedy. I saw to Pat McGrath, shoulder to shoulder there with uh, Terry Dunn. Pat King batting for it out there. Pat McGrath getting out ahead of them all. Picking it up nicely, hand passing it outside to a loose man. That loose man is his number 10. That's Michael, his brother. Sends it in fields, kept it on the ground. So Pat Lynch, Pat Lynch into the corner. Out comes the full back and the full forward. Rory Bastan clears it out to the far side of the field. Comes out, going very close to the sideline. Still in play on the far side of the field. Picked up by uh, Tom McGrath. Tom shot his half locked down. It's with Michael O'Mara. Michael from the corner back position, clearing it out the field. Out to the centre of the field. Out comes the side of the field is Sean Kennedy. Gets the stick to it up the field. So Jim Maher into the centre of the field to Ned Ryan. Ned, give an advantage in field. Can this be the first score? Yes, it is. It comes off the post. And over the bar. That one coming off the post and going over the bar. First score line falling two. The men from Lockmore. And we have played four minutes. And the ball broken to Michael Murphy. Michal of Waterkool. And the ball on the stick being chased all the way. Michael shut in field. In comes out full Pat Tracy to pull back. Out to Jim Maher, the centre half back. Window there by Michael Murphy. Across field, Jim Maher. Getting it out the field and on the ground. Only comes out to the number nine. That's uh, Pat King for Tommy Vara. He's dispossessed there by Michael McGrath. Michael McGrath for lock. Out to the far side, Michael Murphy. And sent out over the sideline by Michael Murphy on the far side of the field. I think Michael Murphy felt that he was playing in the opposite direction because he's sent that one certainly out over the sideline a quick word in Michael's ear there by the other Michael the full forward Michael Nolan Brothers in abundance on both teams today the McGrath on the Lockmore side and the Nolans on the Tommy Vera side Puck Tavelina left Pauzic McGrath 40 metres out Along the far sideline, still in play on the far sideline, going very close to the far sideline still, kept in play, battling hard for it in there, it's uh, Pat Lynch, out to this side, comes out Georgie, friend trying to get a stick to it, eventually it fills to Philip Shanahan, Philip Shanahan back to Michael O'Mara, and Michael out to this side of the field. Racing out here to get ahead of you, Michael Murphy and Jim Maher. Murphy gets ahead of him, sends it in field, into a loose man, that loose man is Liam Nolan, Liam Nolan gets home to swing his stick. Beaten over there by Frankie McGrath, the cornerback, cleared up by Jim Maher, out to uh, Dunn, Tommy Dunn. Dunn in, in pursuit of knocked off his stick by Ned Ryan. Been knocked off his stick and turned by Tommy Dunn and over the sideline. The sideline cut to Tommy Vara, seemed to have touched the lock more than last, so the linesman closest to the action and indicating a sideline cut to Tommy Vara to be taken by uh, Dickie O'Mara. Dickie O'Mara from... 43, 44 metres out from the Lockmore goals. This side of the field, the old stand side, replacing the ball very carefully as referee checks the watch. That's six minutes, I can tell you. The ball's in then field. Picked up in there by wingback John Kennedy. John out to this side of the field, coming very close to the sideline. Kept in play by the number 12, uh, Seamus Bohan. That ball gone off the stick of a Bohan all over the sideline. Certainly, I... Sideline cut to be taken again by Declan as Padjo throws out the instructions. Padjo Whelan and Joachim Kelly, two men who know one another very, very well, but both today involved in both the senior teams here in Artibur in County Tipperary. The ball broken inside too. Uh, done. Send out the field by John Kennedy out to the centre. Georgie Friend getting it. Only out to uh, he's only out to a lock more man. He was fouled in possession. That's the number ten, Michael McGrath. It's a free two. Pat McGrath and Lockmore, Pat takes it quickly, up towards his brother, uh, 12, up towards Seamus Bohan, Bohan gone down into Broken inside to Philip Kennedy, 
Phillips still with the ball. Tries to work his way out of trouble. Sox isn't doing so. But sends the ball back to Georgie Friend. Georgie Friend for Tuivara. Up to the centre. Pat McGrath and John pulling for it. That was Terry. Terry getting in the breaking ball. Infield a shot from Terry. And can this be the equaliser? The scoreline is one point for Tommy Barra, one point for Lock Morton, a four and a half score score of a Terry Dunn and Farrah Four and Colleen Shin. Seven minutes gone as we wait for the puck out to come from Eamon Maxivna, Cole Barra, Lock Moore. Puck out to the side of that field. Punching on the left, and Tommy Dunn getting a stick to it, but Ned Ryan picks up the pieces. Ned Ryan being chased by Michael Murphy, being chased by Kenneth McDonald, being fouled by Kenneth McDonald, and a free in two. Uh, Lockmore Casalini. Ned Ryan with the free. Ned will be between the 70 and the 45. On this side of the field, the old stand side here at Simple Stadium. The crowd, I believe, in the region of 12,000 12, here today as Ned Ryan sends that one in and sends it. It's gone, blocked inside the square. Shot it out! It's a goal, it's not, it's gone wide. The ball had crossed the end line. The ball had crossed the end line, the umpire signalling, but certainly Tommy Vara defence living dangerously. The umpire certainly close to the action and indicating a wide ball as Jody Grace, Joseph de Grasse, this is Pukamakarish to Pat King in the centre, didn't get it, broken to the number 10, Michal McGrath for Lockmore Castellani, being chased all the way by King. Pat McGrath in field to the number 13. That's uh, Lee McCormack. Lee on a solo run, going in alone. Decides to have a shot, and this one has gone to the right, and it's gone wide. And certainly, Lee had John McCormack and Pat Lynch waiting for that one, but didn't avail of their services. Jody Grace's puck out. Getting plenty of length, plenty of height into it. Michal Amorico going up and getting it in the hand. Michal Ishan Puckerish. August Colleen on the yes. It's gone, it's gone to the right and it's gone wide. A good catch there by Michael Murphy, but the end product not what he intended. The scoreline remains. Tommy Vera, one point. Lockmore, one point. And we have played nine minutes here at Semple Stadium. Maxivna, Ishan Puckerish. Eamon. From the edge of the small square to the centre of the field. Pat McGrath trying to get a stick to it, so did Dunn. Pat McGrath getting a boot to it, or anything at all to it. Tommy, Philip Shanahan getting a stick to it, up to the far corner, racing over there to get away, pull back and pull forward. Pat Tracy, Pat Tracy fouling the pull forward. That's uh, Michael Nolan. And a free in to uh, Tommy Vara. Pat Tracy, a link with North Tipperary. He's married to a girl from Burgess who were successful last Sunday in the North, or the North Tipperary final against Kiladangan. Today, Pat operating at full back for Lockmore Castellini. He's native parish. As oh, no line. Listen, Puck Sarah Hogan sends it in and sends it over the bar. <laughs> they haul a no line. Colleen, the Tommy Vara, was Colleen. Ella, the Tommy Vara, Shin got Colleen, the Tommy Vara, Colleen, the one, the Lockmore. Ten minutes. That's the time gone as Eamon Sweeney with the puck out. Kenneth McDonald tried to get a stick to it. Picked up by uh, Seamus Bohan. Seamus Bohan in feed in towards his full forward. That's uh, John Cormack. John Lynn didn't get a big to the full back. By the full back. Out to the field to Georgie Friend. Georgie out centre out to centre out to Dunn. Takes a hefty challenge to get away with it. Mike's the breaks to Michael Murphy and Jim O'Brien in close pursuit. Outside to the far side of the field too. Uh, that's Terry Dunn. Terry looking up, a shot, and it's gone in, and it's gone to the right, and it's gone wide. Puck out by Eamon Sweeney to the far side of the field this time. Pat King under that one, will he be? Try to get a stick to a tough station zone, so Georgie Friend gets a stick to it instead, going very close to the far sideline, gone out over the sideline. A sideline cut to Lockmore and a sideline cut to Pat McGrath. Puck tabling to the Fodrick. The man who works here in Turles, taking that sideline cut from 70... Under 70 metres from the... Tommy Vara goes, Pat with the sideline, cut it on the ground. It goes to Kenneth McDonald. Kenneth takes his eye off that ball. It's with Ned Ryan. Ned Ryan outside to his midfield partner, Tom McGrath. Tom being pursued all the way by Pat King, being fouled by 
Pat King and it's a free in to Lockmore. Castellani and can Lockmore or can the number eight, Ned Ryan, put the four or co score on it? He saw it simple as we have played. I make it about 12. 12 minutes it is. For the say in auctioneering terms, I'm 12. I'm bid. If 12 minutes are gone, it's the free or it's the free to Ned Ryan. Puck stay of the Emil Oreen of a Colleen to Emil Oreen. Lockmore Castellini, two points. Tommy Barra, two. Jody Grace with the puck out to the centre of the field. Broken down by Pat Bubra, pinned up by Kenneth McDonald, into the corner, into Nolan, comes off his stick. Eamon Sweeney gathering inside, Eamon looked to be fouled, was fouled, and referee taking. Kevin McCormick being ushered off the field there. Free out to Eamon Sweeney. Out to the centre of the field. Picks up by, grab out by Pat King. Pat seemed to hold on to the ball a long time and uh, certainly Pat King's name in the referee's book for retaliation. Um, But there's room with a throw in, retaliation there by Pat King, and certainly stalemate. As the ball breaks out to the far side of the field, to Tommy Carroll. Tommy with the yellow helmet, ball in possession and a free into to Tommy Vara. It's a clarification on the midfield for Lockmore, wearing number eight, Tom McGrath, and number nine, and Ned Ryan. Life change from that which is appears on the official program. As Michael Nolan, 70 metres out from the Lockmore goals, sending this one in. He looks good, the signal is going up, is it? Yes, it is. The point has been recorded. Michael Nolan raises the fist in the air. So the scoreline reads Tommy Vara, three points, Lockmore, two, 15 minutes, halfway through the first half. Eamon McStivna, let him puck him off reach to this side of the field. Comes towards Terry Dunn. Didn't get to it. Beaten to there by the Lockmore uh, 12. That was Seamus Mohan in field to Pat Lynch. Pat Lynch was fouled in possession and a free in two. Foul there, a push by Pat Maher on Pat Lynch to Pat battling it. The free for Tom McGrath, the white helmet of the Lockmore man. Tom with the free and Tom with the points. Certainly the accuracy of Tom in this first half, bringing his total to three points, bringing Lockmore, Lockmore's total to uh, three points, and Tommy Vera has scored three. So in the corner, their, post, their co score, Son Kedla and Shaw, a simple stadium. The ball broken out, picked up by Michael Murphy. A dangerous face, put your hand up, but certainly when you're going to get the ball, you're happy enough with it. The ball turned in towards Nolan in the full forward. Yes, I have Broken out by uh, John Kennedy. He didn't get to it. It's broken inside. Jim Maher batting for a long the ground from uh, John. That's uh, Tommy out over the end line and wide. <laughs> the puck out by Eamon Sweeney. Out to the centre of the field, picked up there by uh, she by Seamus Bowen. In field, in towards his full forward. Passing hard there for this Pat Maher, the cornerback, getting it out of field. Out to the centre field, took a knock, and uh, the referee has blown his whistle. A foul on Pat Maher after he delivered that ball by Pat Lynch. So it's a free from where the ball lands. Puck there to Tommy Vara, Dick to Namara with the free. Declan, centre of the field. Bending, lifting, striking, sending it in. It has a curl on it, it has a tail on it. It's gone in, it's gone out over the end line and wide.
looking to pad John Whelan there, looking for a few bottlemen to move around the pitch. As waiting for him and Sweeney's puck out to come. Out to the centre of the field. Pat King battling for it. Staying made on the centre. Pat King getting a stick to it. Up to uh, the number eight. That's Terry Dunn. Terry Dunn in field. Into the full forward. Nolan. Nolan picking it up nicely. Sending it in towards the corner forward position. Now comes Damon Sweeney, the full forward. And the goalkeeper. Just out to his corner back. Uh, Frankie McGrath. Frankie McGrath out this side of the field. Same as Rohan. Rohan getting it. Just got his there by friends. But picked up by midfielder. Uh, Ryan. Uh, Tom McGrath. Tom McGrath in field too. Patrice, Patrice didn't get to a beat there, pulled back by Rory Mastan. Georgie Friend getting back. Press the lift. Uh, Lynch passing forward with it. All going very close to the sideline. The sideline cut to Tommy Barra. Sideline cut to Tommy Barra, I think. The linesman indicating. No, he changes his decision. He didn't. He did indicate a Tommy Barra ball, but. I think he may have, yes, uh, the referee overruling the linesman and awarding a sideline cut to uh, Lockmore Castellani. Tom McGrath. What's it in? Declan O'Mara gets a stick to it. Pat Lynch gets a boot to it. Out to Tom McGrath. Picks back there too. It's Tommy Dunn. Tommy Dunn falls to Pat Lynch. Pat Lynch is shot as locked down by Declan O'Mara. Or by Pat Maher. Out it comes to Tommy Dunn. Out to uh, Tom McGrath. Thomas. Fouled and it's a free in two. And the name of uh, or a caution there for Tommy Dunn. A free it is to Lockmore Castellani. A free to be taken by Tom McGrath. Can he make this his fourth point? And also Lockmore's fourth. Tom bending, lifting, striking, sending it in. It's gone off the post. And it's gone wide. It had gone off the post, but it went on the outside of the post, out over the end line and wide. Jody's puck out to the, this side of the field. They're batting for Tommy Dunn. Get, Tommy Dunn getting a stick to it up to the corner. Frankie McGrath coming out. Potentially was going left, goes right, gets the ball on his stick. Walks his way outside. Going very close to the sideline. Here it comes out over the sideline. Sideline cut to Tommy Barra. 19 minutes gone. Declan O'Mara with the sideline cut under 40 metres from the, from the Lockmore goes cutting it in goes over Jim Maher's head broken inside by over to Tommy Carroll on the far side cleared out by the cornerback that's Pat Cormack oh, picked up by uh, Pat King a shot by King half it's inside to the number 13 shot and it's saved by the goalkeeper Eamon Sweeney at a defence of a 65 Defence of a 65, Puck Shaska Coig made of the uh, Tommy Vara. Eamon Sweeney certainly uh, saving that shot from Liam Nolan at the expense of a 65 as Michael Nolan, his brother, coming out to place this ball on the 70 metre line. Michael Nolan scored two points already. Can he make this three? Can he make Tommy Vara four points to three in, in favour of the men from the north? As Michael sends this one in, will the signal look good? It's going, going out over the end line and wide. So the scoreline remains Tommy Vara 3, Lockmore Castellani 3. And we have played about 21 minutes. 21 minutes it is. That's Joachim issuing instructions to his goalkeeper inside. That's Joachim Kelly of Offley and Temple Moore as Eamon Sweeney pucking the ball out to the centre of the field. Kenneth tried to get a stick to it, didn't get to him. Picked up by the centre forward, Philip Kennedy. Philip O'Kennedy being chased all the way. Is it in field to Pat Palmer? Came too quickly for him. Picks it up nicely and passed it inside to uh, McGrath or to Bohan. A shot from Seamus on a point. <laughs> Philip Kennedy to Pat Lynch to Seamus Bohan. That must be on Twitter. Hot on trash now. And a puck out to Jody Grace from Jody Grace. Out to this side of the field. Michael Murphy batting for it. Beaten over there by a lot more man. That's the wing back, uh, John Kennedy. Out to the centre. Pulled it on the ground by Ned uh, McGrath. Thank you, McGrath. In towards Lynch. Lynch in the corner. Looks to be hooked off the ball. Pat Maher coming out from the corner back position. Lifting the seat for Tommy Barrett. Sending it out along this side of the field. Very close to this sideline. Gone, gone out over the sideline. Sideline cut to Lockmore on the 45 metre line. To be taken by Frankie McGrath. Francis McGrath on puck table now Hogan. Cuts it into the 
along the sideline. Starts up there by Dixon O'Mara. He's put off that ball by Seamus Bohan. And the ball going off the stick of the lock. Moore Manor over the sideline. Sideline cuts to Ibarra. Dick Lawn. Dexlon coming up to this one, getting it in field into a loose man. That loose man is the number eight. Another one carried on, carried on big through there by Pat McGrath. It's the wise old head, Pat getting the ball away from Dunn, sending it up field. Crossy spot with Johnny Grace coming up, grabbing it as he comes out. Pat Lynch challenges him, half locked down. It comes to the centre, number 17. That's uh, John Tracy, or that's number 12, Seamus Mohan. Seamus Mohan getting it. So it's Dexter O'Mara clearing off field for Tommy Barra. Out to this side of the field. Pulled it on the ground by John Kennedy. Into the centre of the field to the number nine. That's Ned uh, Ryan. Ned Ryan still battling for it. Tries difficulty lifting it. Pat McGrath behind him. John's brother getting it mixed up in there. One of those is Terry. He's fouled in possession and a free to uh, Tommy Barra. Michael Amara with the free. Michael normally operating a centre back, but today operating a cornerback. The free sending it in towards Nolan. Michael Nolan beating over there. Out to Don. A shot from Don on a point that's comes off the stick of Terry Don. Michael Nolan to Terry Don, and the ball was between the posts. The scoreline reads: Tommy Vara four, Lockmore Castellini four. John Corm or Liam Cormack left corner forward, Pat Lynch right corner forward on the Lockmore team. Shina Haru one as the ball comes out to the middle of the field. Broken down to the number eight. That's Tom McGrath. Tom McGrath on a solo run, being chased all the way by George Friend. Still Tom McGrath being pursued all the way and Pat King. Staying on the far side of the field. Philip Kennedy getting a stick to it in field. Rooks out there too. Uh, Philip Shanahan. He clears his lines out to the far side of the field. Pat McGrath on that one. A bit of holding on the far side of the field with Tommy Carroll. But Pat McGrath getting away from all of them. Clearing out to the centre. Two. Uh, Ned Ryan out to the centre of the field. Pat King getting a stick to it. Very close. Keeping it in play. Out to the middle. It comes John Kennedy of Lockmore. Getting it on his stick. Sending it to this side of the field. Two. Seamus Bohan. Seamus Bohan and Dexter O'Mara chasing for it. O'Mara getting the better of that duel. Flex it inside to um, the cornerback. Pat Maher and Pat. Uh, fouled and it's a free out to Tommy Varda. Foul on Pat Corm or Pat Maher, the cornerback by Liam Cormack. As Tommy Dunn there and Michael O'Mara's father look on from the sideline. The ball sent up along this side of the field. Liam Nolan coming out for it, didn't get to it. It comes off the stick of the cornerback, uh, Frankie McGrath. And a sideline cut to Tommy Varda. Tommy Dunn still. Arguing there, Michael Murphy doing a bit of mediation as Michael Murphy comes over to take the sideline cut. <laughs> Michael being told to leave it to Tommy Dunn. The scoreline remains four to four. The time reads 25 minutes. That's 25 minutes to go and five minutes to go to half time as Tommy cuts it across towards Nolan in the centre, comes off his stick, out towards uh, Tommy Carroll. Tommy gets out ahead of the cornerback, sends it back in over his head, in between the full back and the full forward, the ball goes over the end line and wide. Sweeney's puck out to the middle of the field. Nobody gets it. Breaks. Eventually, Pat McGrath keeps it on the ground to Philip Kennedy in the centre. Tom McGrath batting for a Terry Dunn there, back getting it. Or Tommy. Tommy up to the side of the field. Up to uh, Nolan. That's the number 13, Lean. Lean Nolan sends it in field towards his brother. But out comes Pat Tracy, or Tracy as they call it. Out from full back position, kicks it. They play football in Lockmore to the centre of the field to Tom McGrath. Tom McGrath up field and up forward. John Connor broken inside to Jody Grace. Backs and forwards batting for it in there. Out to the centre of the field it comes. Out to Ned Ryan. Ned Ryan and Tom Pat King batting for it. Tommy or Philip Shanahan batting for it for Tommy Vara picks it up nicely, gets away from his markers and saves it up the field. Up to the up to the middle to Pat Tracy batting it out to the side of the field. To a loose man, that's Kennedy. John, the wing back, out to the side of the field. Out comes uh, 
Liam Cohen was the corner forward tries to get ahead of uh, Jackie O'Mara some hardy pulling and both of them on the ground Dick missed there by Philip Kennedy gets away from Georgie Friend quicks it along two that's the number 12 Seamus Bohan Bohan two Lynch Lynch pass tries to get room to swing his stick tries to get room to swing anything is fallen in possession in a free in two and uh, not more a foul there on uh, Pat Lynch by Michael O'Mara the scores are level the time is 27 minutes, three to go to half time. 20 metre free. Tomas McGrath, Puck Sarah Hogan, that was Colleen at Todd Tomas. Con Scorlish, Lockmore, Coit Colleen, Tommy Vara, Coit, a killer Colleen. Colleen of one in the Laforna. Seamus Bohan gone to centre field on the Lockmore team. Partnering Tommy Dunn, I think. Man gone. Lynch is still down injured on the Lockmore team. Jody Grace with the puck out from the small square, from the Kalani in the underground, up towards the centre forward, Michael Murphy and Jim Maher. Jim Maher getting the better of that tune. And the burly Jim from Lockmore Castellani out to the centre of the field, out towards Pat Maher of Lockmore, or Pat Maher of Tommy Vara. Pat has difficulty getting it up, sends it across the field to uh, Pat King, the long striding Pat over to the far side to Dunn. That's uh, Terry. Terry in field towards. Uh, Cleared out there by John Kennedy of Lockmore to Tommy, Tommy Carroll. A shot from Tommy and it could be a point. It's not. It's gone to the right and it's gone wide. August Tawn Scorish. Lockmore, Coy Colleen, Tommy Vara, Kelly Colleen. We have played 29 minutes, just a minute to go to half time here as Tommy Londrigan. Pat Londrigan, I should say, looks at that watch. The puck out comes. George Friends, Philip Kennedy get hit better that George. Go hand. Go hand a shot on the run. Sends it into Jody Grace. Missed it inside. And the stand. Getting the back, getting the duel, taking it up. Across speed it comes to a loose man. That loose man is the number 12. Seamus Mohan. A shot on the point. And certainly Jody Grace. Jody Grace could have been doing novena because that ball came loving at his feet. Unexpected it may have been, but Jody certainly. But his defence under a lot of pressure. The ball comes out to the centre of the field. Jim Maher shouldering Michael Murphy off that one. Legally, said the referee. Maher getting the better of it. Pulled across Dunn. Dunn getting it. Tommy Dunn going very close to the sideline. Foul in possession and a free in to um, Tommy Vara. The foul originally, I think, on Tommy Dunn was the one the referee had ordered for. So we have played 30 minutes. 30 minutes has elapsed and number 14, Michal O'Loughlin on far Colin Fair Pucker Hogan. Michael Nolan, the referee, wanting the play players outside the 20. Jim Maher and Michael Murphy have been spoken to. It's cool things down, so to speak. Two big men, but the heat of action has lifted a bit of tension as Michael Nolan with the free sends it in Maher going to get to it didn't get to it broken down inside stalemate inside possible to see a shutter in there referee may move in well broken out eventually out to this side of the field out to out to the centre kept in put up by Kennedy gone very close to the sideline gone out over the sideline despite the efforts of uh, Michael Nolan the ball sent up by Tom O'Grab but Michael Nolan running out of space here in Simple Stadium. As the sideline cut is to be taken by Frankie McGrath. 31 minutes have elapsed here at Simple Stadium. And I'm sure uh, Pat Londrigan has gained that uh, few moments as well. The ball sent, and there goes the half time whistle. Chindera on Darnella on Scorlanish. Lockmore, Shea Colleen. Tommy Vara, Kerr Colleen, Goody Tosnu, and Darn the last long of all. Pointed over Ashley and down the lap, and Sehir is a lot more Castellini. And Tommy Vara and scored down 
Son, Kate Lah, no, to Lockmore, six points, Tommy Vara, four. We wait for commencement of the second half here at Simple Stadium, Turles, as the whistle, the throw in by Pat Longigan, and the game is on. What's the breakaway or Lockmore up towards breaking back there together will be the cornerback, Pat Maha, for Tommy Vara, up to centre of the field. Michael Murphy trying to get a stick to it, succeeds in doing so, leaves the ball run very close to the sideline. Still kept in play, pulled on there by number 10, that's Kenneth McDonald. In field, into Nolan, Nolan across field, out comes Pat McGrath, picks it up, gets some to swing a stick, succeeds in doing so, sends it up to the centre side of the field. Uh, Declan O'Mara leaves it back to his brother Michael, Michael O'Mara up field, up towards the far side of the field, over facing O'Dea, it will be the 13, that's Neem Nolan. Neem with the ball in the hand, across centre of the field to Michael Murphy, Michael Murphy back to uh, Nolan in the corner, a shot from Mike, from Neem, a shot around the point, Neem Nolan the score. Six points. The scoreline now reads Tommy Vara six, Tommy Vara five, Lockmore six. Just a fine between the teams at Eamon Sweeney with the puck out from this side of the field, from the left hand side, sending down this side of the field. Michael O'Mara getting under that, Pat King getting under that one, Declan O'Mara getting the breaking ball, sending up along the this side of the field. Players wrestling for it in here, and one of those is Tommy Carroll. Tommy getting it on his stick, his shot is locked down by the cornerback, uh, Pat Cormack, out to the centre, into Terry Dunn, a shot from Terry and a point. Carried on the scorer. The sides are level. We have played one and a half minutes or a minute and a half. The sides are level. Six points apiece. For the four narrow full score. Eamon Moxivnalish and Pukamokarish. Eamon Sweeney. From the Kalinian into the ground here at Simple Stadium. Into the centre of the field. Into a, a sea of players. Pulled up there by... Uh, Seamus Bohan up with Georgie Friend. Georgie shot his half back down by Philip Kennedy. It breaks to Tom McGrath. Tom picking it up. Sends it in to Seamus Bohan. Seamus Bohan on the run. A shot. And this one has gone over the bar. <laughs> Seamus Bohan's third point. That four reading seven points. To Ivara are six. Seamus Bohan the scorer. The mid from the mid to Bray division. A hit by a slender point as Jody Grace's puck out comes to this side of the field. Pat King goes up for that one, didn't get to it. Tries to get a second by the cherry. Philip Kennedy does. Keeps it on the ground. Into Declan O'Mara. Declan from two. Sends it on the ground. Only to sit in the field to, to Tom McGrath. Tom McGrath to Philip Kennedy. Philip Kennedy in toast. Pass uh, Lynch. Pat Lynch a hand pass outside him. To a that Lusman is 13. Liam Cormack. Liam coming out. Getting around Michael O'Mara. Liam still looking up. Sending it in. And this one is in around the house. The full back and the full forward battling for it. A bit of holding going on, the referee leaving play on. It breaks out to Pat Lynch. Pat Lynch takes his eye off the ball. It's with Pat Maher. Pat Maher, the corner back out to the far sideline, out over the far sideline. Puck tabling uh, the Lockmore Castellini. Sideline cut with Tom McGrath. 33, 34 metres out, sends it across the square. Michael O'Mara putting up a hand and grabbing it inside there. Michael going across his goals. Walking, taking into a hefty challenge. Referee penalising him for overcarrying. And the referee, I think, may have a word and awarding a 20 metre free. Yes, Michael O'Mara being uh, penalised for charging with the ball. I was puck sailed the Lockmore. Tom McGrath with the free. This one, 20 metre line. A shot and a point. And certainly, uh, Tom McGrath's accuracy proving the four points for, five points for Lockmore as their scoreline reads Lockmore eight, uh, Tommy Vera six. Joseph de Grasse, four minutes gone in the second half. Listen, Pukamakarish. Out to the centre of the field. Kenneth McDonald grabbing it. Tom McGrath hand passing it outside. To a loose man to Ned Ryan. Ned Ryan to Dickie O'Mara. Playing a centre back for Tommy Vara. He's going with it. He's fouled in possession and a free two. Tommy Vara, this free. The Tommy Vara half back line reads. Georgie Friend right corner back, right half back. Centre half back Declan O'Mara and Philip Shannon at left half back. That's an Aharu Alfuran Tommy Vara. As the Free is to be taken by Tommy Dunn. A shot by Tommy. The signal will go up. It's gone up. It's gone over the bar. Lockmore. O'Colleen. 
Tommy Vada, shock Colleen, talk Colleen the one is in the four now, August talk, Yog not cool ignore with him, son Darnella. Max Sivna, let's just puck him off reach, out to the centre of the field. Terry Dunn trying to get a hand to it. Pulled it on the ground there by Tom McGrath. Out to the far side of the field. T uh, Pat Maher of Tommy Vara, the cornerback, getting out with it. Dispossessed, foul in possession and a free to uh, Tommy Vara. This one will be taken by Declan O'Mara. Number 19 on the Tommy Vara team, John Ryan. John Ryan of Animadel on the Tommy Vara team in place of... Just, just watching to see who's coming off the Tommy Vara team. Switches all over the place, just see who's coming off. The free is taken by Declan O'Mara. Sending it around the house, it's going to the right and it's gone wide. Certainly John Ryan on the Tommy Vara team. Just see who's gone off, it looks like Kenneth MacDonald I think. Yes, Kenneth MacDonald gone off the Tommy Vara team. The ball coming out from Sweeney, grabbed in there by King, and pass it outside to Murphy. Murphy tried to get round Jim Maher, and they put the ball in the hand, sends it low into Dunn. Tommy's had difficulty left to get beaten over there by Ryan. Out to the centre too, that's his brother Tommy. Tommy Dunn battling for it, picked up by Jim Maher, flicks it ahead of him. Being pursued all the way by Michael Murphy, keeps it along the ground. Up towards Georgie, friend of Tommy Vara. Georgie hand passing it outside to a loose man. That loose man is 14. Michael Nolan. Me hollow Nolan. Les Jean Park, August Shin. R40. Bounced over the end line and wide. My hollow Nolan. Moved out now to uh, more centre field. Yes, Michael Nolan, centre field on the Tommy Vara team. Lean Nolan at full forward. Tommy Carroll at corner forward and, Lee and John Ryan at right corner forward. That is the changes on the Tommy Vara team as Eamon Sweeney with the puck out. Declan O'Mara getting a signal. Seamus Mohan got it into the centre between the full back and the full forward. Some holding going on inside between Rory Bislan and uh, John Carmack. The ball broken out to Georgie Friend. Out it comes to the number 10. That's uh, Michael McGrath. Shot from Michael. Jody Grace coming for it. Hoppity hop. It goes out over the end line and wide. Referee wanting the players outside the 20 metre line before the puck all is taken by Joseph de Gross. Eight minutes gone in the second half as Jody's puck out. Last horse, Jim Maher. Stalemate of it. Eventually pushed off on the far side to uh, Tommy Dunn. Beat to it out there by John Kennedy. John going very close to the sideline. Walks into a hefty challenge. Walks into a second hefty challenge. Eventually is fouled in possession and a free out to Lockmore Castellani. Another switch on the Tommy Vara team. Tommy Carroll now operating at right half forward. Tommy Dunn operating at left corner forward. Shina Haruela. The ball broken down the centre to Tom McGrath. Georgie Friend tried to get a stick to it, didn't succeed. Seamus Bohan gets a hand to it and it's fouled in possession by Georgie Friend. A free into uh, Lockmore Castellini. <whistles> 70 metres from his, from the Tommy Vara goals. Pat McGrath with the free. Pass with the free. Bending, lifting, striking and sending it in. In told me to fall back and the first shot inside. Cut by Jody Grace in the goals and cleared out to the side of the field. Out to the direction of Pat King. Picked up by Pat in the centre. Pass trying to get away from Pat McGrath. Stock stays in noise. Pat McGrath blocks that one down. Pat McGrath getting across field. A lovely delivery by Pat. It going in. It's gone. It's gone to the left and it's gone wide. And certainly Pat McGrath there catching Pat King unawares but sending his delivery out to the left and wide. The scoreline reads Lockmore 8 points to Mivara 7. And about nine minutes or so, nine and a half minutes or so gone in the uh, Decton O'Mara centre back on the Tommy Vara team. Uh, Georgie Friend left corner back on the Tommy Vara team. Decton O'Mara right half back on the Tommy Vara team. Decton O'Mara, Michael O'Mara and Philip Shannon, the half back line on the Tommy Vara team. The full back line reads Pat Maher, uh, Rory Bristlan and 
uh, Georgie Friend. The ball coming out to this side of the field for a, come to, uh, a foul there on uh, the Rockmore man or on the Tommy Varaman. Referee has blown his whistle, Pat King and. Pat, the ref, Pat McGrath and the number five for Lockmore, that's Pat McGrath and the number nine for Tommy Vara, Pat King, both down injured. So it's up to the man with the whistle to make the decision. Pat Lund again it is, and Farshin, Lishan, Adog. <laughs> Pat King and the Loch Mormon Jim Maher clearing out the breaking ball out to uh, send into the field to Philip Kennedy and his full forward broken back inside to Georgie friend Georgie now back in cornerback position Relieving the clearance out for Tommy Vara. Only out to Nolan. Nolan and Tom McGrath batting for it. Back broke back to. Uh, and the Lockmore man gone down injured again. That's John Kennedy. And I'm afraid Michael or the referee Pat Landrigan is going to have a word in the book. Yes, the name of Michael Nolan in the referee's book. And uh, certainly a word of caution there by Pat Landrigan for Michael Nolan. Anamson Lauer. Tom McGrath with the with the free between the 45 and the 70 meter line. Tom sends a slip as he hits that one, sends it in. It's gone to the right and it's gone wide. The score line remains. Tommy Vara seven, Lockmore eight, or eight points to seven in favour of the men from the mid division. Sammy R Sammy Ryan and uh, Pat Joe Wheeling have it, having a time check here on the sideline as the puck out comes from Jody Grace. Tommy Carroll breaking it, Tasha the Ash with uh, John Kennedy on that one. Gone over the sideline and linesman, I think I may hold up your flag. It's a linesman's throw. Hardy pulling on the ball, gone over the far sideline. Tommy Carroll getting a new hurley. 13 minutes gone in the second half. Cornerback, Frankie McGrath with the sideline cut. He's between his own 45 and 21 yard line or 21 meter line here in the new stand side of Semple Stadium. Crunch East, this and Puck Tavely now Hogan along the far sideline. Out to Philip Kennedy going very close to the sideline and out over the far sideline on the si another sideline cut to Tommy Vara. Torless may be a wide pitch, but players seem to run out of space a lot of times. As Dickie O'Mara takes this sideline cut. Dead straight in the centre of the field, more or less. Sends it in towards his forwards. Picked up there by uh, Tressy, the fullback. Cleared up by Tressy. Out to the midfielder, to Tom McGrath. Out to the centre of the field. Hardy pulling here on this side of the field. Pat King getting back to lift it. Succeeds in doing so. Comes out, sends it in. It's gone. It's gone to the left and it's gone wide. And. Uh, Certainly the accuracy of both sets of forwards has deserted them here today as a mountain of wides has piled up, piled up on both sides. Eamon Sweeney's puck out. Looking down here to this side of the field. Send in field by uh, Michael McGrath into Georgie Friend inside. Has difficulty lifting it. Brooks to Liam McCormack or Liam Cormack. Liam Cormack and Georgie Friend. Georgie trying to get the better of that duel, working his way out of trouble. Hard half hits it, gets his second attempt. Tries still working his way, Georgie, and clears his lines out to the side of the field, going back into the back of the left cornerback position. Out comes Nolan. Liam trying to get ahead of Pat Tracy, the full, the full back. Succeeds in doing so. Gets round him. Nolan has difficulty lifting it. Tracy sticking with him. Tommy Dunn, or Terry Dunn in the action. Terry getting the ball in the hand. Sends it across. Sends it to the right and sends it wide. First game, a tense, exciting game. Certainly this game not living up to expectations. A lot of wide, a lot of mishitting as both teams strive on the scoreline of Lockmore 8. Tommy Vara 7, the ball broken on the far side of the field. Philip, 
Tom McGrath getting it in field in towards his full back and full forward in towards the full back picked inside by Pat Lynch Pat Lynch a hand pass inside to the number 12 that's Seamus Bohan Bohan on a solar on a shot and the referee has blown his whistle the referee has blown his whistle Pat Lundrigan there standing up in the centre of the field indicating a free out and um, both sets of players be mused by that one as Jody Grace takes the free out Terry Dunn battling for it in there it's broken to uh, Ned Ryan Ned Ryan up along the middle out it comes to Bohan Seamus tries to get away from one challenge it's fouled in possession by Declan O'Mara and a free in to Lockmore Tom McGrath with the free leaves it instead to Pat Pat the long distance free tacker certainly the utility man on this Lockmore team Pat playing today as wing, at wing back has played at midfield, has played in the forwards and can Pat increase Lockmore's lead with 16 minutes gone in the second half from the centre of the field Paulwick McGrath and Puck skins it in towards Pat Lynch Hardy pulling inside, Pat Lynch gets it the referee has blown, he's whistled Lockmore man on the deck and it's a free in to a free in to Lockmore a 20 metre free Twenty metre free to be taken by Tom McGrath, and will Tom just tap this one over? Pat Lundgren happy with the positioning of the players. The shot and the point, increasing Lockmore's lead to uh, two points. They now read Lockmore nine points to Ivara seven, and we have played seventeen minutes. Seventeen minutes of the second half. Another switch on the Lockmore team. Puck out by Jody Grace. Comes down, broken down to the centre. Picked up by the number nine. That's uh, Ned Ryan. No to uh, Pat Car or to Liam Carmack. Liam has difficulty lifting it. Comes down to the side of the field, going very close to the sideline, and the linesman indicates a throw in ball. A throw in ball it is between Sammy Ryan indicating there. A throw in between Pat King and Ned Ryan. The ball broken in two. The number 10. That's Michael McGrath. Look to be foul. Given advantage by the referee. Broken back to the Terry Dunn. Back to Nolan. That's Michael. Michael's delivery upfield. Goes down to hit that one. And the referee blowing his whistle and penalising the penalising the Lock Mormon for a late challenge on Michael Nolan and a free in to to Ivera. Certainly a very uh, late challenge on Michael Nolan, but referee Lundgren up with the action and awarding the free in. Can uh, Tommy Vara bring one back and get that bit closer still to Lockmore? 21 minutes gone. Sorry, 18 minutes gone as Liam Nolan sends that one in and over the bar. Michael Nolan sends that one in and over the bar. Bringing his total to three points. Bringing Tommy Vara's total to eight, Lockmore's to nine. Just a point between the teams. Eamon Sweeney's puck out. Centre of the field, players bunching for a Pat King getting a stake to it. Jim Maher getting a hurley, a hurley to it up the centre, up towards the centre forward, up towards the full forward. Hardly pulling inside, broken out nicely for Cormac. Liam has difficulty lifting it. And that is the second mistake Liam Cormac has made in recent times. Foul there by on the Tommy Vara cornerback Pat Maher and a free out to. Tommy Vara to be taken by Michael O'Mara. In towards Jim Maher. Michael Murphy gets in the hand, working his way in, head down. Comes off the stick of an off man. That's the wing back John Kennedy. And very close to the inline, keeps it in play. Out to Jim Maher. And Jim going to lift the stage for Lockmore. Sending it out to the centre. To a loose man. He slips and he hits that one. That was, uh, that was Tom McGrath. He was falling in possession and a free out too. Lockmore Castellini to be taken by cornerback Frankie McGrath. Sends it across to this side of the field. Players fall as they go for that one. Ball broken in the back in the middle of the field. Nobody coming for it. Michael Nolan and, and McGrath coming for it. Looking back to Ned Ryan. Ned Ryan has difficulty lifting it. Succeeds the second attempt. Been pursued all the way by Terry Dunn. And Pat King sends it in low into Bohan. No, into, yeah, Seamus Bohan. Seamus Bohan outside to the far side of the field too. Uh, Ned Ryan, Ned Ryan has difficulty lifting it, succeeds in doing so. 
trying to make room to swing his stick, Stuck sees him doing so, across to this side of the field too, uh, Liam Cormack, and Liam getting it at this time, trying to work his way out to an advantage position, sending it in and sending it, comes off the post, it's broken down inside, it's with the number 11, it's broken across the square, it's eventually cleared out by Pat Maher, the cornerback, out to the centre to Michael O'Mara, Michael lifts the seat for Tommy Barra, off the feed, up towards the centre of the field, Jim Maher and Michael Murphy battling for it, picked up by the cornerback, Pat Cormack, Pat on a solo run, kick football, they played in Lockmore as well, out to the side of the field, picked up by... Uh, the number 14, that was Pat John Cormack, out to the far side of the field too. Uh, Tom McGrath, Tom McGrath across to the far side to Liam Cormack. Liam Cormack and uh, Declan O'Mara batting for it. And the referee penalising the lock moment for a hand on the back of free out to Tommy Barra. Nine points to eight, are we going to have another draw? 21 minutes gone. The ball broken out to this side of the field too. I don't, that's Terry. His shot is broken down. Nolan gets the stick to it. He's been to it. Maybe there to Pat King. Pat King trying to get away from his marker. Knows Pat King tends to take a lot of steps to that ball. In feed to Nolan. To Michael. A shot. And this one can be the equaliser. Yes, it is. A word of pity for Tipperary County Board. That really has a fixture problem because these two teams are a level again and we have played 22 minutes here at Semple Stadium as Eamon Sweeney with the puck out a draw in the first game are we going to have another draw the ball broken in the middle of the field picked up by the number 8 that's Terry Dunn Terry Dunn in field between the full back and the full forward out comes Shashi the full back out comes Pat a kick by Pat the full back out field out picked up by Pat King another big man Pat hand pass it outside to Monaco Michal Monaco with the ball on the stick Working his way in a hand pass outside to 13. That's Liam Nolan. Takes his eye off the ball. Jim Maher getting back. A shot from Neem into him and Sweeney in the goals. Him and Sweeney's delivery out to the side of the field. On the left ball with Liam Cormack and uh, Pat Maher. The ball broken down. Picked up nicely by uh, Seamus Bohan. Or by the full forward, Pat John Cormack. The foul on Seamus Bohan and a free in two. And the corner back there, Michael Maher, throwing away the ball. Will the referee move the ball the required 10 metres? As the time ticks away, we have played 23 minutes, 22 and a half, 20, almost 23 minutes, as Tom McGrath, Tomas McGrath. That's on puck sale. This very important free by Tom McGrath, the sides are level, 23 and a half minutes. Gone, Thompson half hits that one into Cormac. Liam Cormac has difficulty lifting it. Certainly Liam Cormac's action not coming off for him today. The ball broke out to Tommy Carroll. Tommy Carroll is a wing forward or a corner forward. He broke out to Seamus Bohan. A shot from Seamus in around the house. A, Tommy, a lot more men waiting for inside Jody Grace. And Jody Grace going very close to the end line. Out the field. Out it comes to Seamus Bohan. He's shot his half locked down. It's hard chopping stuff here at Semple Stadium. Out it comes to John Kennedy. John the wing back. A hand pass outside to the number eight. That's Ted Mohammed McGrath. Tom McGrath outside to uh, ten. Michael McGrath, his brother, across the square. Broken down inside by uh, Philip Shanahan. Philip Shanahan outfield to this side of the field. Pat McGrath batting for it with Terry Dunn. Terry Dunn without the stick, now with the stick, back in field. Jim Maher, or the cornerback, Frankie McGrath getting it. The McGrath brothers really battling hard for a lot more. Out, picked up in the middle by Michael Murphy. Michal and Monaco on a solo run. Mick Murphy on the run, being chased by Jim Maher in field. Toast Nolan, beaten over there by Frankie McGrath. Leaves it behind him. Frankie still batting for it. Michael Murphy on the ground in Toast Nolan. In the full forward, but if he gets round, Sassy. Nolan having a shot, and this one gone to the right and gone wide. And the referee had blown his whistle. And we're about to see Kevin McCormack in the Tui Barra team. Kevin McCormack on the Tui Barra team. At full forward, I would say. It has to be full forward for Kevin. Uh, who is going to come off the Tommy Barra team? Uh, looks like Nolan. No. Yes. Uh, Michael Nolan, I think, maybe the man to make his way. Another substitution on to. That's... Uh, Tommy Carroll coming off and the number 17 is Tony Delaney Tony Delaney in the in the game for Tommy Barra yes. Kenneth McDonough not too happy about being taken and about being taken off but the free has been taken by Pat McGrath we'll tell you about substitutions in a moment that ball broken down inside too that's uh, Michael McGrath a shot by Michael and there's the winning score is it no it's gone to the right and it's gone wide Kenneth McDonald certainly not happy with being taken off the Tommy Vara team. John Ryan 
or John Ryan, I should say, not happy with being taken off. John stopped the children early on. The ball broken out to Michael Murphy. Jim Maher pulls it in the air. Up it comes to uh, Seamus Bohan. Seamus Bohan with the ball in his stick, chasing his way out on the far side. Sends it in. In between, in the full back and the full forward. Broken down inside. Picked by Jody Grace. Jody tried to work his way out of trouble. Succeeds in doing so. Out to the centre of the field. Tom McGrath going up for it. Leaves it out to John Palmer. John Palmer fans for it. Leaves it instead to 12. That's Tommy Dunn. Tommy Dunn in field. A loose man inside. Out comes Damon Sweeney, the goalkeeper. Sweeney with the ball in his stick. Out to this side of the field. Out to a loose man. Pat McGrath. Conchise McGrath. Up along the side of the field. Up to this player's going for it. Georgie Friend gets the stick to it. Broken back to Pat Lynch. Broken back to uh, Ned Ryan. Liam Cormac batting for it. Georgie still batting for it in there. And Georgie pushing it ahead of him. Liam Cormac as well. Very close to the sideline, very, very close, gone out over the sideline, sideline cut to, uh, sideline cut to, um, even, Georgie Ryan, even Georgie Ryan has been overcome by the atmosphere, a sideline cut to uh, Tommy Vara, how many minutes to go, how many minutes is left, Three, four minutes to go, that's 26 minutes have elapsed, as Paggio fires out the instructions. John Tracy on the on the Lockmore side. Into the centre it comes from that sideline foot. Picked up inside by cornerback. Hand passes back to Pat McGrath. That was it from Pat Cormer to Pat McGrath. Back to Michal and Monaco. Dispossessed by uh, Michael Nolan. He's dispossessed by Pat McCormer. It comes out to John Cormer, the captain. The full forward. Now operating everywhere, anywhere. The ball broken back to Jody Grace. In to in stop here. Jody takes his eye off the ball. Being chased over there by Pat Lynch. Out to the far side of the field. And in play on the far side, Jim Maher takes it off his boat to Seamus Bohan. Seamus Bohan, a shot in field into the loose man. That loose man is not there. The ball going out over the end line and wide. Liam Cormack has been replaced on the Lockmore team by John Tracy. That's number 17 on in place of number 13 on the Lockmore team. As uh, Jody Grace's puck out. The action is tick, the action is, is Pacific. The ball broken out to Jim Maher, short Seamus Maher, out to this side of the field. Weary legs, to Central Stadium getting that bit wider. Out to this side of the field to Ned Ryan, beaten to it there by Philip Shannon. Philip O'Shannon going across the goal, across the field, to the far side of the field, picked up by Michael Murphy. Will he get it? Yes, he does. The Hall of Monaco, over to the far side to Tony Delaney. Tony Delaney is shot, and this one has gone wide. Draw. Oh, what a draw! We just certainly, both teams have 28 minutes gone, two minutes to go here at Temple Stadium, and certainly no team deserves to lose this uh, Titanic contest. Nine points apiece. The puck out comes from Eamon Sweeney. The ball broken down. Dickie O'Mara getting a hand to it, trying to get room to swing a stick. Still Dickie, out of a sea of players, pulled it on the ground by Ned Ryan, out to the side of the field, it comes to Pat King, Pat King back up to the side of the field to Nolan, coming very close to the sideline, has walked out of the field of play, Michael Nolan has crossed the line, has crossed the line, a sideline cut to, a sideline cut to Lockmore, as Pat McGrath appears to take it, the referee looks at his watch, I look at mine, 29 and a half minutes gone, Pat McGrath with a sideline cut, Pat Lundgren, Pat Lundrigan having a word. I know he's going to have a booking. The name of Michael Nolan may, may enter the referee's book. Pat McGrath with a sideline cut. 29 and a half minutes. And on the ground it comes to Terry Dunn. Terry Dunn tried to have a shot. It's in around the house. It's gone in and it's gone out over the end line and wide. And uh, Michael Nolan gone down in. Michael Nolan back on his feet again there, took a knock but back on his feet again. And Pat Lundigan checks that watch, there is a half a minute to go. There's 60 seconds in a minute, there's 30 and a half. And this is going to be go right down to the line. Pat King batting for a Pat McGrath getting a vote to it. And on the ground, a good shame of four hands. Look to be fouled, a hand pass outside. That outside to Michael McGrath, drive it anywhere, says Michael. In around the house, dropped inside by Jody Grace. The final whistle must be on now. The ball broken in the centre. 
to Tony Delaney, the substitution. Tony looking up, sitting across to the far side of the field. Two, to a done. To a shot in, it's gone in and it's gone over the bar. The lead for Tommy Vara. We have 30. We have gone over the full time. 25 seconds over the time. As the ball drops out to the centre side of the field, comes off the hand of Philip Shanahan out over the sideline. 25 seconds of injury time. 30 minutes and 25 seconds as Pat Bougrat for the equaliser or for the. But to make this game into another ge a draw, the ball broken in the middle of the field to Ned Ryan. He shot his half knocked down. It pulls to uh, out to Liam Cormack, the captain. A shot from Lane. It's gone to the right and it's gone wide. Tommy Barris, Pat King down at the moment with Trump. So, uh, 31 minutes gone. The referee still looks at that watch. Jody Grace pucks it out to this side of the field. Ball broken down by Pat McGrath. Pat coming out to get it. Going very close to this sideline. Pat lifting the stage for Lockmore. Tries to get around to swing a sticks. Hasn't seen knocking players all around him. Sends it out to this side of the field. Picked up by Liam Cowder. Liam being pushed off the ball by Michael Murphy. Michael Murphy in field. Broken inside to uh, Kevin McCormack. Kevin McCormack out to Nolan. Tries to lift it, Liam. And pass it outside to a loose man. That loose man is Kevin McCormack. And Kevin seemed to have all the time in the world. And the referee has penalised the Lock Warman for a foul, a free in two to Mivara. And certainly with 32 minutes almost played here at Simple Stadium, Tommy Barra looked to be on their way to a county final on the scoreline of Tommy Barra 10 points, Lockmore 9. The referee checks the watch. 32 and a half minutes gone. The Greyhounds, who looked to be dead and buried, certainly rose from the red rose from the dead and created a resurrection as Nolan sends that one in and over the bar, Michael Nolan 11 points to 9 Joe Wackham is on his feet Joe Wackham is on the side and he's on the pitch and there goes the final whistle and there goes the final whistle a final whistle which leaves us on the scoreline of Tommy Vara, 11 points Lockmore 9 after 32 minutes and 28 seconds of drama excitement here at Simple Stadium